What's up, everybody? My name is Ron Empire, and welcome to my channel. Dot age. All right, so welcome back, everybody. This is Dot Age, and uh, this game is coming out on October 4th, I believe. That is the released version. Uh, this game actually has been out in terms of a, a demo for quite a while now. And I guess the demo is kind of like his early access. This game is a single developer. And uh, I've actually played this a year ago, the demo. And I really enjoyed the demo quite a bit. There were a couple of things in the demo that, you know, had some balance issues. And I gave my feedback a long time ago. I haven't played it since then. So hopefully he's made some changes to improve uh, some of those uh, issues that I had a while back. So if you wanted to watch my, my VOD or my Let's Play of the demo, it's still up on my YouTube. So you can compare it to the final release version. So this is the released version right now that I'm playing. It is not the demo. So let me go ahead and jump in here. One of the issues I, I kind of also have is... The settings, if you saw earlier, I, I had to, like, redo the settings every time I want to jump into this game. I don't know why the game is not remembering some of these settings that I have. Um, but every time I launch the game, I have to go through all the settings again. So that's one of the issues. Hopefully that gets fixed right before launch. But, uh, yeah, they he lifted the embargo a few days ago. So now um, we can actually, or content creators with access to the game key can now play this um, to show everybody what the game's like. So let's go ahead and jump in. This is a, a survival city builder game. And I really enjoy survival city builder type of games. And it was very enjoyable when I played it. So let's go ahead and dive in. So this guy is an elder, and the demo, with it, originally when I played demo, there was only one elder, M Mat Mattis, right? And here, I guess we have to unlock the additional elders. And for now, let's go with the normal challenge mode, since I haven't played in a long time. Let's just do that. Well, let me tell you a story. It begins before any of you were born. Really. We had been traveling for days in strange lands. Actually, give me a second here. I need to change my... my category to dot age. The category now is dot age. Yep. Hey. Our developer has appeared. Hello there, developer of Dot H here. Have fun. Hey, thank, thanks for the follow and joining us today for the stream. Thank you for that. So here we uh, we had been traveling for days in strange lands. This is the story of how our village was born. The story of how we defeated the prophecy. Oh yeah, I remember now. There is a uh, pending apoc. Uh, um, Apoc uh, apocalyptic event that will destroy the world or something, right? And then we're trying to survive that. So It's been a while since I played the demo. It all began in a lush in a lush secluded valley that we found after several several days of traveling. So in this game, it is actually procedurally generated. So every time you play the map is different, and so the resources and also the, the forest layout, the berries location, it's going to be all different. So if you don't succeed in one playthrough, you know, keep trying. Um, you might get a different uh, layout. Just a few more steps, you slackers. We are almost there. Hey, Mad Raving Man. My feet hurt. Okay, cool. Pico. Yeah, I love the cu the cute graphics of this. 
Oh, I was so young then, I convinced some pips. So these guys are called pips. To follow me into the valley. This is it. This is the place I told you about. We have to stop here. Okay. You'd better not be lying about this new life, Elder. Man, this guy. <laughs> Alright. Impertinent. Follow my example and all will be well. Now get to work. We started work straight away on the construction of our village. Nice. Okay. Um, I think this is the first time I'm telling you this story, isn't it? Yes, it probably is. You better pay attention because I'm not going to repeat this twice. You can always click this button to skip the tutorial. Okay. We're not going to skip the tutorial. Since I haven't played in a while, I do want to go through all of this. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this. The village was in a secluded, far away valley. Use uh, WASD hand at the edges of the screen or hold right click to move your view. Use the scroll wheels to zoom it in. Okay, cool. Um, I was the elder of the new village. Let me tell you what I did to make it thrive. Okay. Uh, the bivolence was our first structure. It defined the boundaries of our village where we could safely build, place it on any available terrain near berry bushes. Okay, so they've got little build icons here. So you can't place it anywhere else other than the initial build icons that it's it's suggesting. I'm gonna zoom out here. Okay, this is a tiny little map, huh? Got uh, the stones surrounding us. Man, this is I don't know if I like this particular initial starting point. Okay, this might give us the best coverage. Right here, right? I don't know if being by the water is a good thing or not. I don't know yet. It's been a while, so I actually don't know. So the chicken looks new. That I didn't see that last year. They had rabbits last year. Okay. Hmm. That was three patches, right? Or this is four patches. No, there's actually, what, five patches, right? All right, I'm going to take this one. Go with that. We pips used to live in dwellings like this one. Hover over the dwelling and you will see that it is already full of pips. Okay. We've got four pips. Cool. Pips, yes, my fellow villagers. I used to tell them what to do every day. Okay. Hmm. I remember the first time... I sent a pip to get food to assign a pip to a building structure or plant. I click it. Okay, so we're gonna assign somebody here. Okay, pips followed my wise advice without question. The pip is now working. Oh, oh shit! I hit the spacebar. Uh, pips work to produce resources daily. Hover over a building to see what it produced in in the top right corner. Okay, so right here, when it says the top right corner, it's not the top right corner of this. Um, it's actually the top right corner over here. So I actually gave feedback on how the tutorial could be improved. So right here, it says what it produces in the top right corner. It's not actually the, the top right corner of this. It's the top right corner of the screen, but you have to click on this to actually see the top right corner of what this little dialogue is talking about. We found a few bushes full of berries, enough to last us for the first few days. Uh, you meant the top right corner of the building, as in the one that produces the berries. Okay, all right. So you were talking about the top right corner of that one. Oh, okay, okay. Because I was thought I was thinking in the top right, top right corner or left corner, right or last top left corner. Okay. Top right corner here, right? Okay, so the top right corner here does produces the berries, right? I think it's this part of the demo is what I'm talking about. So we found a few bushes full of berries enough to last us for a few days. Bushes have unlimited uses. The number at the top left shows how many uses are left. Uh, okay, is it the top left of this one? 
So it's got five left. Five X of the four. So we're talking about nine. Aha. So, I part so the, the feedback I gave you, I thought it was missing something here. Okay, so the top left corner of this rollover. We found a few bushes full of berries, enough to last us for the first few days. Bushes have limited uses. The number at the top left shows how many uses are left. Okay. So, four a day times five. I'm guessing that means it's five times four, right? Five times four. All right, that's fine. Let's move on then. Uh, we collected the resources we produced each day in, uh, in a common pool in the village. Okay. So we're, we're gaining a plus four and they're eating minus four. So a total of 20 berries left. 5x times four is how much we have. Unless that is, unless that is our initial starting point. And then we're also getting an, an additional five times four. Let's, click, let's move on here. Each pip ate one, uh, one piece of food every day. Available food is automatically allocated. Okay, all right, so that is 20. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the 20 that's already in storage or the 20 that's already counting this here. All right, so let's, let's move on though. Available food is automatically allocated. Okay, fine. Uh, I made sure that each pip was assigned to their daily task. See how many working pips there are in the village and how many are idle. Okay. So we've got actually a total of four. Um, and we've got three available for work. One is currently working, right? And that guy is harvesting. Cool. All okay, right. That's fine. Move on. Uh, I also recorded the current day and season. The game progresses in turns. So do not worry about the time passing too quickly. Okay. So down here... Uh, we are now day one in spring. Cool. That's fine. Once I was satisfied with the daily task, we uh, we got right to work. Pass the turn by clicking on the sun. Do I want to assign another pip? Yeah, I think you know, I do want to assign another pip. Okay, so the 20 is actually what's in storage. What is max 20 resource cap? Okay, this is probably, I can only have 40 resources, is my guess. Berries, right? They're gonna eat berries. Is there a little icon? Configure what food pips can consume. What is this? Hungry pips, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what is, what is this icon? A simple but nutritious food we found. I'm, I'm guessing the X's do not eat that, right? En enable. Okay, yeah, so they can eat that. So that's where it's minus four. So it looks like we've got actually 20 in the storage. And from what I can see here then, that means that we're going to get an additional 20 from this and an additional 20 from this. Uh, you know what? Since we have extra workers, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to click on this. That way we generate a plus 16. I don't want to just pass the day for no reason, right? So all of our pips are now available. We didn't waste a day with idle workers. So now we'll go ahead and pass the turn. All right, so we do collect. We do collect stuff. And now they're sleeping. All right, since the max cap is 40, I'm going to go ahead and take this guy off. Okay, I can take that off. I'm going to take this off. So the next step, hold on, there was more. I remember it now, okay. Memory retrieved. My memories. I can recall what happened. Okay, cool. Memories. In my old age, I tend to get a little bit more forgetful as I tell our story. Old memories will resurface. So watch out for those um, epiphanies. Epiphany, epiphanies. Epiphanies? I don't... Okay. Alright, what do we got here? Another memory retrieve. Pips can now build structures. Okay. The placing buildings. Every pip has the ability to build a building. Once you have chosen a building, you can place it anywhere in the village. An unoccupied pip will go there to build it and it will take a few days. Okay, sure. Alright, so what can I build now? 
The building menu is divided into sections. Click on the services section. Okay, cool. We need a thinker's post to help Pips come up with new ideas. Click on it. Okay, so it's like a research station. I'll go ahead and click on this. Uh, a thinker's post. Each structure had a different cost to build. This one took a day and a few wood resources. Okay, that's fine. We've got 16 here available in our storage. Buildings were used by Pips to produce. This one produced a knowledge in one day. One knowledge in one day. Got it. One knowledge. Uh, they also had special requirements. The post could not be placed immediately next to another building. Um, the post could not be placed next to another building. Thinking Pips need silence. Okay, so I think it meant to say the post cannot be placed immediately next to another building. I guess he's talking in the past tense, right? They also had special requirements. The post could not be placed immediately uh, next to another building. Think, thinking Pips need silence. Great, okay, that's fine. Past tense. I carefully decided where to place the post. Place it. If a Pip is free, it will be assigned to the building. Remember to assign a Pip. Uh, remember, remember to assign a Pip before passing a turn. Got it. All right, so let's place the post. I'm going to place it here because it looks like that's the farthest spot. All right, because we don't... Because they can't... It can't be placed next to something. So that means this spot right here has to be free. So I should be able to place other stuff here and here, right? I think that's probably the best spot. Okay. It took only one day to build. Hover over the building to see how many turns are left. One day. Okay. And then we have one free worker. Okay, so let's see here. We're gonna gain four, right? Let me go ahead and add another worker here then. Can I add? Okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. All right, so, sure. Uh, you want to know how I made my decisions? Well, I have collected my wisdom in my agepedia. Access it by clicking here, okay. So it's kind of like uh, in Against the Storm, we've got like an Xpedia. And you get all this little information here. When you see an icon on your cursor, right click to access the, uh, the agepedia for the hovered item. Okay. Uh, take a look. Then go back to your village and start building. Okay. Do I have any question marks over here? I don't see any question marks. It's just... Just stars, right? Stars is what we haven't seen yet. Uh, we placed our first houses as quickly as we can. Right, sure. Wood pile, sure. Sure. All right, let's X out of this. Guy is in the building right now. Well, it has to build. It takes a day to build. Right? Yeah, it requires a, a builder. Oh, yeah, right, right. So I assigned the guy to build. Yep, there you go. Okay. So that is a builder. I think that's it, right? Is there anything else we need? I think this is it, right? I mean, I could try to build a house, but that might be the next step in the in the tutorial, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and advance. At least we got the maximum number of food. We built Thinker's Post. Okay, cool. Research. Pips can now research new buildings. Cool. Pips can uh, came to these lands with little knowledge, but they can be very brilliant if they take their time. Uh, some buildings produce knowledge that can be used to discover new buildings. Cool. Alright, so that builder automatically became a researcher or a thinker some pips folk uh pips focused on harvesting knowledge that we could use to discover buildings okay cool click on the research button to see what we can do all right cool 
Uh, each building required the production of a certain amount of knowledge to be discovered. Okay. Uh, I alone choose where to focus the research efforts. Hover over the building to see its details, then click on it. Okay, cool. Okay. So, crude well allows us to collect water. And I guess it does require a worker, huh? Uh, 2x during during water events and heals one burning pips with water. Okay, that's fine. Um, as we discover new buildings, we gain access to even more brilliant ideas. Okay. I can't remember now. Uh, I can't remember the na them now, but we had a lot of different ideas. I'm sure they will come to me later. New research ideas will appear after you complete the previous ones. Okay, cool. All right, so we have nothing else other than, say, Forager and Crude Well. I'm going to go with the Forager. Oh, wait, it won't let me. That one requires four points. I guess I have to take this one first. Oh, no, no, I got to come up with four points first before spending. Okay, 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 that's fine. Um, so we've got... Maximum already. We're going to gain eight next turn. Let me take this guy off. And then we're going to take this guy off. Um, so we're now even, right? Four for four. Can I add another thinker or is it only one person? I only have put one person on there. Yep. All right. So only one person. What else can I do here? I don't have any service buildings, right? Oh, I do have one service building. That's the thinker's post. This is the dwelling. Wood pile. Okay, require requires woods terrain within one. Okay, let's go ahead and get a wood pile. So I can get more wood. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, let's go with this one then. Oh, okay. It does not require... Oh, it does require one day to build. Okay, that's fine. And then, what else do I want? Let's do a dwelling. Forager's camp. Oh, we already have a forager. Okay, got it, got it, got it. And that gets us more berries or... More herbs or more fruits. Okay, that will get us some roots, possibly berries. All right, let's place that there then. That also takes one day. So everyone is on something, right? We've got a guy on here, we've got a guy here, and a guy here, and a guy here, right? Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and advance the day. Okay. All right. Multiple production. Some buildings can take different inputs and produce different resources as well. When this happens, you can use the action button to rotate the available production using this action button. Okay. Sounds good. Probably depends on season. Well, here, here. <laughs> yeah, it's not. You can choose what you want. So let's go with. Let me see here. What's the rotate button? Do I click on it? Or right click, right? Was it right click? Okay, here we go. Change production. What's roots? Seeds. Hemp. Okay. And this is the knowledge. And then this is just dismantle. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so I, I... You know what? I'm okay with the hemp. I don't know what the seeds are yet. Oh, I, I, th I think seeds is for farming, right? If I set up a farm, because eventually the berries are going to run out. So you're going to want a farm, and I believe the farm requires seeds. I think that's how it goes. Hey, Zazie, welcome back. Hi, Ron, and hi, chat. Yep. So we'll leave it like that for now. Um, so we've got a guy collecting us wood. 
We've got a guy collecting us hemp. We got a guy on berries, and we've got a guy on the thinker's post. And we are currently researching the crude well, right? We've already got this unlocked. So I've got to research both of this to unlock the next thing. Okay, that's fair. All right, I don't think there's anything else going on here, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and advance the day. You know what? Hang on. Let's let's um let's see if we, I, I add a dwelling. Right? It costs four. Maybe we can add more workers. Yeah. So if I put it there, he can't think. Right? So I can only put it here. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's put him right here. Or the new house there. And then I need to take this guy off, right? So he can be the builder. There you go. That, I think, gives me more workers. Go ahead and advance the... I think it takes two days to build a house. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, it does take another day to build a house. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. So we're gaining, we're decreasing on the berries, which is fine. I don't think I can do anything else, right? So let's go ahead and advance the day. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's change this guy's rotation. Let's get some seeds. There. All right. That's fine. Confirm. And we'll advance the day. We're getting a little bit of everything. Alright, so now we have a house. We should have more villagers, right? Memory retrieved. Procreation. Okay, Pips can make new babies. Ah, the power of love. If a dwelling has enough empty space, Pips can make a baby, and they should if we want the village to thrive. Send two Pips with some extra food to that buildings. To that building. And they'll spend the next night together and make a new baby. Any two free pips will do, no matter what they look like. <laughs> pips can be very fertile. No matter what they look like. Alright. Uh, it did not take long to realize that we need more pips. I was too old, but my fellow pips were healthy and fertile. It's time for the birds and bees talk. Okay. It's quite simple. All you need is a happy couple and some food. Any two free pips will do. Okay. You need at least two free pips for this to work. Free some pips. All right. So let's get rid of... Oh, we, we actually have one available, right? Because, yeah, see, we have one available. And then we need... Let's see here. We're gonna get the... Let's get the guy off the seeds. And then we're gonna put the other guy in here. Okay, pips need an intimate place. Right click to open the actions menu. Right click. When I ordered pips to reproduce. <laughs> you too, go over there and have sex. They were more than happy to accept. Choose uh, the make a baby action. Alright, let's do that. Make a baby. Send two pips to uh, procreate here. A child pip will be generated. So I need two pips and I need one extra berries, right? Let's do this. The two pips will spend the next day making the baby. Wow. It only takes a day, huh? I hope everyone is clear now. I won't explain it again. Alright. Done deal. So we're going to drain. Okay, so now the minus five is showing here, right? So the four people and then the one to make the babies. Yeah, pips have a very fast pregnancy. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, uh, let's do this. Bam. They're making love and they're popping a kid already overnight. Growing that baby. Wow. Look at that. One day to pop a kid. 
Okay, so Puna. Children. Okay, when a child is born, it becomes an adult after a few days. Children are not strong or disciplined enough to work. So they just play around the house all day. Remember, to feed them too. Though, as they eat, just like adults. Oh, okay, so they consume the same amount. Um, Alright, that's fine. Let's move on. Research complete. Research completed. The crude well. Research growth? A new research section is available. Awesome. Terrain bonuses. Some terrains may have special properties that can affect the output of buildings. If a building that can take advantage of that terrain is built on top of it, its output will increase. Okay. You know, I wish I had known this earlier in, in terms of like when I had played over a year ago. So, so when I played the demo like a year ago, I actually didn't know to put the well next to the puddle. And so this actually helps a lot now with this new knowledge. Okay, research pages. Oh yes, I remember now. We had ideas for many different types of structures. Sometimes I remember a new research section and it appears in the research tree. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the new research tree here. It's kind of nice that I don't have to honestly hit pause over and over. This is my type of game where I like to go over everything before hitting the, the next button. Oh yes, some knowledge comes with multiple runs. That's part of the game, or it would be loaded with too much info, info at the beginning. Yep. No, that's it's great. The, the pacing is fine. Absolutely. So memory retrieved tomato fields. Okay. We got tomatoes. New resource discovered, tomato. Tilled soil. Okay. So this is a building construction. Cool. Herb picker. Okay. A new building there. Medicinal herb. Okay. Great. Wonderful. So I want to research. What is this one? It's just flashing. Okay, it's flashing because we just unlocked it. Uh, Alright, so now what do I want? Do I want to do farming? Have an herb picker. Requires woods. Terrain within one. Season seasonal is autumn only. Okay, so they can only pick this during the autumn season. This is add soil terrain on the map. So I could probably do farming, right? And this is what? Tomato field. Crops. Plus two if water maker is within one. Nice. Okay, it's seasonal. Spring, summer, and autumn. Okay, I don't know anything about the tomato field yet, but I think the the getting the soil terrain probably makes the most sense. What's the requirement on this one? I'm guessing this goes on top of the the field, the soil terrain. But I think it makes the most sense to go with this one first. Let's go with that one then. So six research points. I wonder what happens if you go with this one first. If do I have to like go back and do this? Well, our dev is in the stream. He could probably answer that question, right? Would it make sense to do this first, or would it make more sense to go with this one first? I'm wondering if this requires this or not. I'm guessing it does. It doesn't actually say it requires the, the soil terrain. I don't know, no cost to build. It costs water and and, uh, and seeds, right? I don't know. All right, let's go with that first. Well, hmm. You know, I'll, I'll take this one first. Let's see how that plays out. Oh, these are additional things I can research. Oh, hunting tent. Raw meat. It's a new, new resource. Chicken den. Nice. 
That's new. I did not see that last year. They added the chicken den and chicken. That's definitely new. That's that's cool. All right, that's cool. This definitely was not in the demo. All right, let's find. We'll we'll leave the tomato patch and see how that goes. Uh, oh yeah, there is a lot that is not in the demo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. All right, so we now have a baby. He's useless, right? And then we have two free workers. Let's see here. Two free workers. Can't do anything with the tomatoes yet until I research it. What's this food thing? Crude well, right? All right, there's no water pat or puddles on this map. Like... But I'm gonna, I guess I'll place it. I'll place it here for now, I guess. Sure, let's, well, hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, I guess I'll place this here for now. Is there any other bonuses nearby right now? I'll, I'll, I'll do that for now. And then our food consumption. All right, let's go ahead and put that extra worker there. So now we have everybody working. No one's idle. And we're going to eventually need another gatherer because we're draining at five, right? That's fine. I think that's it. Everyone's full, right? Pass. So one of the reasons why I think I enjoyed playing this game, or that this game really draws me in. Is back in the days on the Apple machine, they used to have like this game. I can't remember the name of the game, but it was like an educational game that they had while I was in school. And it was about like an island, and then they had like survivors on this island, and then you had like, you know, gather, you know, stuff from the island to survive. And there was like food or whatever, berries and um, coconuts and stuff, and then trees to chop down and fishing. And then you had to like make, make housing and stuff, right? So it was really fun back in the days. And this is the artwork here reminds me of that game. And I wish I can remember what that game was, but it's a very old game on, the, on an Apple computer. And it helped me like, you know, learn how to, like, survive and stuff, or the idle game where they all starve after three days of not playing a hey, Will of the Wisp. So this this game really, I, I really love, like, survival-based building games. It's fun. And just resource management. Okay, so we've got one more day to go on the crew well. Hey, Aquan Games, welcome back. Hey, hey, everybody. All right, this guy's still gathering wood, which is good, right? And we're still on this one, right? How long does it take for this kid to grow up? What is this love thing? Can't make a baby, right? Oh, I think he has to live in the thing, and then he comes out, right? Virtual villagers. <laughs> yes, virtual villagers. I think that I don't think there's anything else going on, right? What's town center? I think this is the town center, right? What is this one? Okay, right, that's a town center. Can I build another town center? No. Okay. I wonder if you can dismantle the town center. I'm just curious. Nope. Nothing else going on, right? Can't do any dismantling. Have you played Timberborn yet? Yes, I have. I actually played Timberborn. Um, I played Timberborn when it first came out. Super, super fun. The funny thing is, I um, I played a lot of Timberborn right after Auction Not Included, and I streamed a lot of Timberborn, exported on my YouTube channel. The, old, the reason why I started working on my YouTube channel was I just suddenly got like tons and tons of views, thousands of views. People started subscribing to my YouTube channel. And then Timberborn was actually how 
how the Against the Storm developers um, found me. They said, hey, you know, uh, you know, one day the, you know, Luke, the community manager, the dev, he said, hey, he did a whisper to me on Twitch. And I thought he was like some scammer, spammer or whatever, right? He's like, hey, you know, uh, you know, we're a developer of Against the Storm. We would like to give you a key to stream Against the Storm. Would you be interested in it? Because we, we see that you play a lot of Timberborn and you're doing really well streaming that. And I thought he was joking, right? And so he just gave me, I said, sure. And I was excited actually, but I was, I was cautious. I was like kind of nervous because it was just weird out of the blue. He sent me a key. Um, the reason I was excited was because I actually had Against the Storm on my wish list, and I was following Against the Storm for like a very long time, and I saw other streamers getting keys and you know making like YouTube videos. So when the developer contacted me, I was like, "Is this a joke? Like this is crazy, right?" And they had just launched the game on Epic Game Store, and I was disappointed at the time because they decided to pull out of steam and do Ex epic exclusively for a year and i did not want to buy against the storm on the epic store and then he just gave me the epic steam key or epic game key and i was like okay it was a legit it unlocked that was my first time getting a legit game on the epic store and i played it so that's how i got into against the storm was because of timberborn all right, so this now is no more resources can be harvested. I think, I think these berries do regenerate based on the season. So let's rotate this guy to a different one. That's a lovely memory. Yes. And now I'm sure the developers right now is like, man, you know, we hit a gold mine because Ron, giving Ron against the storm was the best thing ever right um so yeah being a top against the storm supporter and streamer all right so now we have a well right we're gonna collect water we're gonna need the water for the tomatoes i believe right because the tomato says it needs one water and three Three seeds. We do have three seeds. So we'll find out how this tomato thing works. Um, do we have any idle workers? Okay. No, we don't have any idle workers. Yeah, you're one of the top ATS streamers for real. Yes. Yeah, I'm actually the most uh, number one watched hours and also streamed hours for the past six months still. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, and they, they, they just throw game keys at me to give away, which is really cool. I really appreciate that a lot. All right, so is there anything else I want to do here? We're getting berries off of that one. We're slowly losing berries over time. I do want to collect the water. I do want to collect wood, right? There's, I don't think there's anything else I want to do here. Let's go ahead and pass a turn. I wish I knew how long it takes for the kid to grow up. I think it was on that rollover. How long does it take for this kid to grow up? Maybe the Agepedia will tell you. Is there information about kid growing up? Hold shift and hover. Oh, well, hold shift and hover. Is that one day? Is that what it means? I'm guessing it's one day. It's so great having a developer in the stream. Thank you for that. Ah, okay. So shift and hover, guys. Tip, pro tip. If you want to know how long it takes for the kid to grow up, hold shift and hover over it. Awesome. All right. One more day to go and right click on a shift hovered pips uh, to see more information. Oh. Ailments. Oh, growing up one day. There you go, one day. This guy's a commoner. Commoner. The guy's the elder. Oh, that's very cool. It's information that is not explained at the beginning, but a bit later comes in handy. Yes, that definitely comes in handy. 
go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. Now I remember I used to have like a second thinker's post just to get more points faster. Uh oh. Whoa. Puna reached childhood or adulthood. The apop apocalyptic vision, I remember it vividly. Okay. Events. Events will appear. Our village is cursed. Many events will with, with with unpredictable consequences can occur when you pass the turn between each day and and the next events can be anything a shift in the winds the creation of a new new bond um the symptoms of a new disease or just uh the usual earthquake most events have negative effects so pray you are lucky okay there are some events in where you get like a, a thief in the village where you lose food too. I'm rem I remember that. The visions came to me. I saw the future and the world is doomed. The apocalypse is coming. You brought us here to die? <laughs> this Pico guy. He is such a negative Nancy. Doom and gloom. Don't be stupid. We are here for a reason. We can stop this. Okay. Let me tell you about my prophecy. Alright, this is the prophecy table. According to what I saw, we will encounter many events in the near future. I carefully noted all the days of the year. This is the current day. Today, right? So it looks like the apocalypse is somewhere along this season here, right? I think the yellow and the green are the seasons. Okay. I wrote down all my visions. Each one will come on a certain day. The first one was only a few days away. I foresee an omen. The domain's threat will increase, and nothing can be done about that. It will be tied to the fear domain. Okay. And a doom event awaits us at the end. We must prepare for it. Oof. A very powerful event, a doom, was destined to come in the near future. Okay, what is this one? I foresee a season event. Temperature is bound to change. It will be tied to the heat domain. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was in the demo. I foresee an unknown event. We'd better prepare the village to influence its outcome. It will be tied to the fear domain. Okay. And this is the heat domain. Tied to the heat domain. Okay. Uh, you know that it will be stronger than usual. Uh, but it can still be influenced. It will be tied to the heat domain. Okay. I think that's it, right? What's this? What's this little thingy? I don't know what that thingy is. Yeah, I don't know what that thingy is, but okay. Let's go ahead and X out. Uh, you said we'd find a new life here. Oh, huh? Disrespectful fool. Are you calling me a liar? Work hard and the dooms can be defeated. That is what I saw. And now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive. I actually did beat the uh, the demo. Uh, thanks to my vision, I was able to warn everybody of of uh, what was about to happen. Visions of the future will appear here. Okay. Uh, omen event arise in five days. You cannot influence its outcome. Event level is equal to the domain's threat. Okay. My visions were tied to the domains, the forces that threatened the village. This one was sleeping. Okay. Memory retreat. Fear domain. The fear domain looms. In different times, the howling of the wind and the harshness of life can quickly drive a pip mad. The fear domain feeds on the inner struggles and social tensions of your pips. 
when its threat is high, Pip will commit atrocious acts controlled by their fears. Place uh, buildings that make your pips happy and enter entertained. Uh, uh, pips happy and entertained to combat fear events. Pips can also find happiness in positive social relationships, including pets. Okay. Now I remember last year when I played and I beat the domain, uh, the uh, apocalypse, the prophecy. I actually got rewarded with a cat at the end. And then the game ended, or the demo ended. All right, so let's continue. An omen may appear within the prophecy. Nothing can be done about, the, uh, about an omen. The event will arrive and will make things worse, just as predicted. Omens will always increase the threat of the domain. They are associated with making a subsequent event stronger. It is, it is just the way it is, okay? This is the way. I got a Steam achievement saying a doomed village. All right. We have one extra worker now, right? All right. Let's see here. I can't. I can't influence the outcome. So there's nothing I can do about this. The level is equal to the domain's threat. I don't know what the threat is yet. I don't know what the plus one means. I'm guessing the domain's threat will increase and nothing. Okay, so it increases probably by plus one. I don't know what that means yet. All right, what else can I do right now? It's in five days, right? We have one extra worker. Um, a forger, Crudewell, Thinker's Post, a signpost. What does a signpost do? Temporary tasks perform on terrains to change their function. What's this one do? Roads. It gives roads for three. Okay. Food. What? Okay. Gathering. I have an extra worker. I guess I'll just get more food. Yeah, let's just get more food. All right. Or do I need more seeds? No, nah, let's just get more food. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that also reminds me of um, Stacklands, right? In Stacklands, you get food, and then it just, just distributes the food. So we don't have any extra workers. That worker that depleted that automatically went to get to a different spot, which is fine. Um, let's see here. Do I want to get another another baby going? Send two pips to procreate. A child will be generated. I need two. I need another free. Oh, okay, I need another free workers. Right. I think that's what it is. I need two free workers. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Alright, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I'm going to take... I'm going to take the water off. And I'm going to try to pop another kid here. Let's do that. Increase workers. All right, well, that's good enough. One more turn and we get tomatoes. Uh huh. Growing. All right, so the new guy's name is FIBA. I wonder if we can name villagers. Research com uh, completed, tomato field. Great, planting. Pips can grow plants. Research construction. A new research section is available. Okay. Uh, education. A new research section is available. Okay. Yeah, you can rename top right of the screen. Yeah. All right. Give me one second. I'll get into that. All right. So planting. Uh, plant plants work a little differently than buildings. Once they are planted by a pip, they will grow on their own until they are ripe. 
when a plant is uh, ready to be harvested, you can send pips to collect the fruit. However, they will run out after a few uses, uses and need to be replanted. Okay. Got it. All right. Uh, you can rename top right of the screen. Top right of the screen. I had a lot of fun creating these uh, hints animated. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I rename them? Oh, you could rename them. That was the Pico guy, huh? Oops, hang on. All right, okay. Very cool. Who wants a name here? Who wants the name? We've got Alquin in the game, right? Alquin in channel. Alquin. You are now in the village. Well, that's cool. Alright, so we've got three days left, and we have an extra worker. What do I want to do with this extra worker? I do need to... Oh, let's try to plant this tomato field. So we do have one water and three seeds. Oh, okay. I can place them anywhere without the soil field. Okay, that works. That works for me. Okay, wait. So it says plus two if water maker is within. Oh, okay. So it says two. That gets me four. Six charges for two. But if I put it right here, it'll change to four. Okay. Let's do that then. Yeah. Alright, so now our idle worker is automatically going there to... to work on planting it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're good. Well, let's go ahead and select a new research. Memory retrieved the well. So this one requires a worker. This also requires a worker, but it's just basically getting two units of water instead. Versus one unit of water. Uh, does the well stacks? Would you get plus two for two wells? I don't know. Our de dev is in the channel. He can answer your question. Does the wells stack? Would you get plus four for two wells? It should, theoretically, if you add another well. It's just probably going to eat up uh, uh, tile space, right? It sh yeah, it should, theoretically. So here, the problem here is that there's limited space uh, in the game. And I think the... The house, right? So the house, if I remember correctly, the house expands your terrain. So if you notice, when I placed that house here, I got an extra tile space here and here. You see that? So before... So if you wanted to get like a larger coverage, you want to expand placing a house near the edge of your town. Or the edge of your your village. All right, and that little guy, let's see here, it was shift click, right? He's got four more days to till he grows up. Um, so what do I want to do here? This is new, that's why it's glowing and bouncing, right? Extra water. This is herb picker. We've got growth. Oh, memory retreat. Village hall. What's this village hall? What's this do for us? Unique. Holds six commoner. Oh! Kind of like an extra house. Roads, six. Holds two. Okay. Oh, it requires stone. I don't have any stones. Chicken, right? What does this chicken do? Attracts wild events. Interesting. What's this one do? Okay, I can hunt critters. We don't have any critters in range. I think the only thing we have in range um, 
Or the chickens, I think. I think it has to be on top of the chicken, maybe. We do have a chicken spot here. Alright, what, what about education? What do we have here? Remedy rug. What is this? Plus one. Oops. Remedy rug. What does it say? Health plus... Memory retrieved. Retreat. What is this? Wow, this is new. All this is new, cool stuff. Thinker. New job discovered. Altar. Well, the thinker should have already appeared earlier since we already unlocked the think post. Altar, okay. New resource discovered. Nature. Paper maker. Wow, this is new too. Knife master. Well, this is new. Paper. Yeah, so the thinker popped up a second ago, and that that seems like a delay memory. Tracks thunder event. Nearby does nothing. It has to have nothing nearby, right? Nothing nearby. Okay, if plus one if to, uh, woods terrain within. What does this do? It gets us food, right? What does that star plus thing mean? I don't know what that star plus thing means. Oh, it's probably some additional points or something. Oh, it's probably additional points for this. Uh, the idea is hidden behind other ideas. Research the prerequisite to see what lies behind it. You can see he has a hat when you... Uh, the upgraded building requires a specific profession. Okay, uh, that's a different, that's different from the old demo. Um, also, the signpost, that's different from the old demo. Uh, exactly, you have a uh, limited space. Also, the signpost, that's different from the old demo. Uh, click on the, click on that shovel. The upgraded building requires a specific profession. You will see that when you research it. You can see he has a hat. The demo had just the basics. There was a lot of mechanics. Right, okay. I'll have to check out the signpost thing. I don't know what the signpost thing means yet. Um, requires a dwell two dwellings nearby. Okay. And remedy is health related stuff. Near nothing is nearby. A retreat. What is this? Nothing nearby. Okay. What is this one? Plus one if woodmaker within. Plus one if clearing path to dwelling. Uh, if clearing path to dwelling. Okay. What's this construction here? It requires wood. Okay. Ooh, what? Whoa, new stuff. Clearing. Okay, clearing. What's clearing? Stone gatherer. Okay. Wood uh, workbench. Okay, that's new. Tool maker. That's new. Basic tools. Wood stack. What's wood stack? Oh, wood stack gets us more wood. All right. I like the I the sound of that. Can you upgrade buildings, or, or or can you just play? You have to dismantle and place it on top. It looks like it's an upgrade, right? Because according to that icon in the top right corner, it says upgrade. I'm guessing that's an upgrade icon, right? Basic tools. Uh, yep, you can upgrade. Yep, and that's what I thought. All right, that makes sense. But that one needs clearing, too. Uh, requires wood terrain, right? Yeah, okay. No, okay. What is what is the icon with the building thingy there? Clearing. Adds clearing terrain. This doesn't say it needs clearing, right? It doesn't say clearing. Signpost. What does a signpost do? Requires wood, though. It lets you build three roads. Adds clearing terrain. 12 is a lot of points. Let's go with this. I don't know what clearing terrain means, but it seems like it might be useful. All right, what's the signpost do? What's the signpost do? Okay, uh, yes, our village's, uh, village was not too big, but some of the pips had uh, such a poor sense of direction that they could get lost after a few steps. Buildable, flat roads, task, expand. 
hit points too. So, so does this expand our village? What does this do? Allows the village to grow, build squares, pavings, and roads to expand. Okay. Damage damage this that this building can sustain before collapsing. Okay. Roads enlarge the buildable area for the village by three cells. Oh. Let's find out. What uh, I don't know. Oh. So you don't need a house. You can actually grow without the house. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I'm deciding which one I should take. I mean, it's one or the other, right? Alright, I'm gonna take the top then. Alright, one worker. I think I need a... Do I need a builder? I, I don't know if I need a builder. Wait, what, what, what does this one say? Pips that cannot work. Pips available for work. I wonder if I need that. Let me see here. It looks like there is somebody on it already. Alright, hang on, let me make sure. Nope, there's not. So he does, we, I do need a worker to switch over. Okay, okay, we're fine. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pass the turn here. All right, so signpost allows us to expand our town. Awesome. Uh, all right, so that guy's on that one. Ah, uh, okay, so... The guy that was building or working on planting, he went over here, right? So we have two more workers. All right, I'm going to add in... Add in another think post. Let me go ahead and add another think post. We want to get this research faster. I could always. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add it over here, actually. That's fine, too. And then what else? All right, let's go ahead and put this on here, right? To get extra food. No, we already have a net positive on food. Let me see here. Right, I'm going to add a guy here for the seeds. Yeah, all right, that works for me. All right, I think everyone's fine, right? So this one right here, I can't do anything about it, right? Go ahead and pass the turn. All right, all right, cool. All right, so we've got an extra thinker, so that means we're generating two points per day. We've got seeds being generated. I need to switch the seed guy over to get wood. And we're net positive on the berries, right? But I think the berries are eventually going to run out. Yeah, all right. The, I'm probably going to want the chicken... Or, well, we're probably going to get tomatoes off of that, so I'm not too worried. I think we should be fine. All right, let's pass the turn. There should be a fear domain kicking in right, right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Whoa. Interesting. Pro sighting. Fear threat um, increases permanently by one. Consequences. Nothing, right? Okay. 
All right, not bad, but it just went up by one, so I think we should be fine. New creature discovered, the crow. We witnessed crow sighting, okay. Uh-oh, what, what, what's happening? Like I was running around. Research uh, completed, clearing, done. Memory retrieved. Uh, remove paving, okay. Task, Pip can perform some task on terrains, okay. Uh, the special category of task are different from buildings. Instead of building something, they change the terrain below, below it. Use them to clear a forest or to reclaim land, okay. Uh, don't forget, a strong town requires good foundation. More advanced structures are too heavy to be, be built on grass and requires some pavement below. Pavements also increases hit points of the structure built on them. And make sure your town and, and make your town prettier, okay. The event has arrived and the threat to the domain has increased. The bar below, uh, above each domain measured its threat when it reached its maximum. When it reach it, reached its maximum, we were doomed. Okay, so past tense. The domain, however, slept. When awake, it generated fear every day. The higher the threat, the higher the fear generated. Okay. But it was not lost. We could fight fear by creating hope. Okay research community a new research section is available when awake each domain accumulate its associated resource resource called power for example the fear domain will generate fear high fear will cause bad events some buildings can help you influence upcoming events they can produce some resources against the against the power of the domain okay for example they can produce hope to fight fear okay we had special buildings to fend off events. All right, let's do that. Uh, we had a special research section just for that. Cool. We focused on what could give us hope. Okay, let's do that. All right, so we're gonna do meeting point. Plus one if dwelling, building within. All right, so we'll have a meeting po uh, point. What is this? Puddle. Plus one if water maker within one. Okay. Uh, consumed, uh, consumed by event. Uh, bonfire. Okay, right. Heals one. Okay. Uh, consumed by water events. Attract fire events. Okay, right. right that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and get this meeting point. And I forgot what this icon is. Okay, yeah. The hope icon. The essence of hope. Created in the village. It helps to fight against fear events. Okay, and this is... Cold, and this is heat. Alright, that's cool. Alright. Ah, we're gonna have to deal with the heat domain later, so we're probably gonna want the puddle. And the heat domain fights against some other event. Or the heat here, right? We don't need the heat. I'm pretty sure we're gonna, we're gonna want puddle. Thank you for that follow, um, Dario. Appreciate that. All right, so let's see here. How long do we have for this kid? He's got one more day till he grows up. Uh, we're going to increase food by two. We're going to get extra wood there. And we're going to probably get this in two days, right? Right, okay. Uh, what else? This guy, what? Okay, he's running around, right? That's the chicken guy. Okay, so in two days, we're actually going to get the tomatoes. Right. That's fine. Do I do I want to add more workers? More workers means more food, right? Or we can get another signpost and expand further to the right. Hmm. I'm thinking here. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. What else can I build? Woodcutter. Tomato patches. And what is this? Clearing, right? Adds clearing terrain. What's this do? Remove paving. 
removes foundation terrain, no cost. Right, let's go ahead and see. What, what does this do? I have no idea, but we're going to add it anyways. Let's find out here. It might be useful. Okay, it might be useful. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Well, that was easy. Oh, I, well, I need a worker on there, right? Let's take this guy off. Let's put this guy on there. Find out what this clearing thing does for us. I think that's it, right? Let's go ahead and pass the day. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah it's going to subtract six. Should subtract six. There you go. All right, perfect. All right, new terrain discovered. Clearing. Check. Some events can damage uh, buildings. A building can take an, an, uh, an amount of damage equal to its hit points, which can be viewed in the HP diff. When the hit points reach zero, the building is destroyed. You can repair damaged building using the repair icon. Okay. Sounds good. And what can I do with this clearing spot? I guess certain buildings go on the clearing, right? I think that's what that icon was showing. Oh, okay, so the village hall probably requires a clearing. So that icon in the top right corner there, I'm guessing that's the type of terrain you can build them on. Yep. Oh, okay, so I figured that out. Yeah, you can also place it below buildings. Oh, the clearing below buildings. Okay, okay. So grass. So that so that looks like a half icon. So I'm trying to figure out half icon. What that half icon terrain means. I'm guessing it can go on anything. This is goes on grass, right? That says it has to go on grass. But what does that half icon thing mean? Top right, you see the resource it produces. Oh no, I meant like on the rollover. So so over here, it shows like a grass hex, right? Click the HPedia, the name of the resource. Ah, yes, okay. So on the rollover, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what the icon. So here on this, this here shows a green. Uh, that's, um, I'm guessing that means that it, it goes on top of a, a grass terrain, right? And then this right here, obviously, it goes on a clearing terrain. But these other ones are half icons. Hey, good morning, Foxy, all over. Exactly. You can see from the background of the building. So what does the half mean? It just means on anything? I'm guessing that just means go on top of anything, right? It's a generic anything tile. You can check the Agepedia. All right, let's check the Agepedia on terrains resource tags terrains forest grass mountain legs clearing you know, it doesn't sh uh, flat okay so it just uh, okay so it's just basically a plain terrain perfect for building it's basically flat so any flat terrain basically I think that's what it means. All right, let's see here. Grass. Mountain. It doesn't say if it's flat or not. Hit points, terrain, uh, terrain traits, okay. Grass. Forest. Mountains. Okay. Grass. Okay. Uh, underground water is underneath it. Interesting. Files flock. Okay. All right. Mm, all right. That's fine. One more day and I get stuff, right? I got two extra workers. 
I've got a thinker, I've got that. I'm gonna generate more uh, more wood. And then do we want to generate anything else? Let's go ahead and change this. I think I want more of this just in case. I don't know what it, what it's used for right now, but let's make some more of that just in case. And that's one more day and then we'll get tomatoes, right? Yeah, one more day. All right, everyone's got stuff going, right? Here we go. In buildings, you can see buildable on flat. Okay. All right, research com uh, completed. Meeting point, yes. All right, so that's out. And we have one extra worker free. Ooh, memory retrieved. Shared table. Relaxing stand. Nice. That's new in the game. I remember I needing the shared table to watch her. Ooh, this is cool. Infusion. Don't know what that is. Distress. New ailment. Alright, so that's the new thing we uncovered. Shared table. Plus two social building. Um, and it also provides hope. Requires two dwellings nearby. Uh, requires hope. Makers within. Heal three distress pips with infusion. Oh, okay. But I need to make infusion. I think this building creates infusion, right? Yeah, okay. But whatever that little icon is, the roots. I don't know where to get that yet. Wood stack. What's this one do? Workbench generates tools. Stone gatherer. Okay. We might need the stone gatherer. 12 points. You know, cultivation. I'm thinking here. Upgrade the hall. Hold six commoners. I mean, that sounds like a good deal, right? Get more homes. What is this one? Hunting, right? It generates more hope. It generates one hope. Generates three hopes. Uh, this is where they eat, right? It requires water to generate three hope, though, and and people eating. What's this one do? Plus one water if uh, if a water maker is within near near the area. How many how many days is left till my next my next thing? I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm gonna prepare ahead of time. Let's let's go with. Hang on. Do I want extra extra thinker? Paper maker, retreat. Remedy. Remedy plus one if um, uh, hep maker is within requires two dwellings. Wasn't there something that gives me an advanced thinker's post or something, right? No, let's see here. What else? What are my other choices? Workbench. 12 days for that one. Alright, I'm gonna go with the extra water, I think. Mm. No, let's let's go with the shared table. I want to generate hope. That's only six points, so that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. So that's in three days. And then we're losing two two units a day. We have one guy available. Um I dis dismantle this. So if I dismantle this, will I lose the extension? <laughs> Remove this building from the village. We'll generate some res resources. So I don't know if that removes the extension or not. 
Somehow I get the feeling it will. <laughs> uh, it w does remove the extension. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It does. Too easy otherwise. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that. This looks great. Looks like a lot of content and a lot of gameplay. Wishlisted. Yes, hey, we got a a wishlister. Dude, Cyber Dude, thank you for that. Yeah, our dev is in the uh, channel right now. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask questions. Or just tell them how awesome this game is. Um, oh yeah, I love questions. Yes, he loves questions. Alright, you know, it requires two dwellings, right? Nearby. And I'm thinking here. Is this considered a dwelling? I don't know if it's considered a dwelling. I think that's considered a dwelling. I don't know if that's considered a dwelling or not. I think it is, though, right? Yeah, it is considered a dwelling. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the town center is considered a dwelling. Like in here. Because if I place the table, I think there was something that required two dwellings. Yeah, that one requires two dwellings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the house here. Or I place the house here. Or if I place the house here. I'm playing in here. What's the best way to do this? Can't do that one over farms again. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, okay, so I go there, I can get an extra spot. I can go there. It opens up this direction, right? But it needs two dwellings. I believe it has to touch two dwellings for it to benefit. I go there, it opens up an extra tile spot. I go here. I mean, I do kind of want to expand a little bit, right? I can probably remove the thinker and put the thinker somebody somewhere else. My inspirations were the settlers and FTL <laughs> as a basis. Uh, but it's very different from both, of course. Yes, thank you for mentioning the Settlers. That's also one of my top favorite games, the original Settlers. Did you guys know the Settlers was originally called Surf City? I actually played Surf City when it first came out on the DOS. Hey, Lumi, you're back. You just woke up. You did not. Yeah, the Settlers is just one of the most awesome games. And FTL was also my other favorite game. I sent him a key. Very nice. Yeah, I saw that message on your disc or your your Twitter feed. I think what I'll do is I'll put this here and figure out where to move the thinker. I don't know. I can probably put the thinker in this corner. Or maybe this corner, right? No, they can't put the thinker there. Alright, I'm gonna put this here. That's fine. Let's go with that. Yeah, alright, so everyone's full. I'm okay with that. Let's put the thinker there. Sorry, the, uh, the builder there, right? Somebody on it? I can't remember if somebody's on that. I can't tell if somebody's on that or not. Let me take this off. Okay, there is somebody. Okay, I see the builder guy walking around. Yeah, okay, so that... So that guy... that well, There was a builder there, yeah. Yeah, there was a builder. Yeah, did you? They, that must have been amazing. Yes. Is there a demo for this game? Yes, there is a demo on, on Steam right now. You guys should check it out. 
Uh, definitely. Uh, let me see if I can link it. Hang on. Give me a second. I'll, I will link those for you guys. The game. That guy. That way you guys can uh, go check it out. You gotta go click on the store page here. Uh, where's the store page? Kind of weird how inside the game it doesn't inside my Steam it doesn't let me open up the the thing when you're when while you're playing it doesn't actually let you click on the store page for some reason which is really weird yeah the the new steam interface really oh there we go store page here we go i got it got it got it got it i got it here we go guys in chat click on that go wish list that uh click on that check out the demo it's coming out in four days. Is that right? Four days, right? Four days from now. Yep, four days. All right, so I think I've got the builder there going. So let me go ahead and pass my turn. Definitely, definitely go there. I'm scared, yeah. All right, so we're getting a new house set up. Alright. One more turn, right? One more turn. No one's idle. And then, uh... Two more days, and we get another... A shared table researched. Culture, right? So this one requires one. The shared table requires two. But what I'll do is... I will put this here. Right, hang on. Actually, I could just stick in this corner, right? Or no, I'm thinking. No, let me think there. I don't know if that's the best spot. I guess I'll stick in this corner here. No, that corner's got the the stones. I don't want to stick in that corner. No. All right, I'll stick in this corner right here. We're gonna do the meeting table. I'll take this guy off of that. Put him on there. Yeah, there we go. That works. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and hit this. Next turn. So we'll now have a new house. And we've got a meeting or t meeting point to generate some hope. Now, do I have to assign workers on this? Oh, I have to assign people to generate hope. Oh. Oh, it requires two people. Oh. Alright, no, that's fine. We're gonna generate hope. That's fine. We, we definitely want to generate hope. And then one more day and we're gonna get the shared table. Alright, let's pass the turn. All right, so we're now fighting the fear domain. Plus one from threat. Uh-oh, what's going on? I see, I see an unknown event coming upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. Awesome. Okay, unknown event, an unknown, an unknown event may appear within the prophecy. The events associated with it can be very bad, but the vision is blurred and the future can be altered. Increase protection against the power of the domain to control your destiny and get a good event. All right, move on. Shared table, we just researched it. Resource classes. Many buildings will list a class of resources as an input rather than a specific resource. This means that any resource in that class will work as an input. The same goes for food. See the HPedia for more information. Okay, so this icon means we uh, we just need these particular food items. This looks like it's some sort of specific root item, right? I think this is like root vegetables and this is just whatever. Any food type, right? 
Meat, right? Food. This is meat. I think that is some sort of veggie item. Yeah, I think this icon is for planting planting food. Food that you get from harvesting, and this is food food from from gathering in general, right? You can you can gather like meat from the the animals or the chicken, right? Yeah, some tool tips upon hovering would be cool. Um, all right, so I had another vision, an unknown event. It felt somewhat dangerous. Okay, so something's coming in five days. Unfortunately, or sorry, fortunately, we had several days to prepare. Yes, five days. The vision had awakened the domain, which had begun to generate fear. Better produce some hope. Okay, so the guy was sleeping, or, or the domain was sleeping before, and it was not generating fear. But now it's, it's awake, and so we're getting plus one, and we need to generate plus two to fight it, right? My fellow pips, um, uh, my fellow pips dream of times of peace and tran tranquility, but these people are afraid, even uh, their own shadows, and that makes everyone a little angrier and a little bit more dangerous. Okay. Better produce some hope. Right, we're producing hope right now. When an unknown event arrives, the domain's current protection and power are compared. You have a chance to get a good event based on the difference. The higher your protection, the higher the chance of good events to appear. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on. So this is where the RNG kicks in. Okay. If you collect enough protection, you will get a good event uh, with certainty. The difference needed to reach certain certainty increases with the domain's threat. Oh, okay. So yeah, this was the original feedback I had in the game where a, over a year ago, and I'm really glad that you actually added that it back, added it, this into the game. Because one of the feedback I, I had given a year ago was that it was so heavy RNG that you generated like a ton of hope and then you had like this tiny fear and then the, the dice roll still landed on the the fear column and it, I was like so so mad at the time because I had like 90% chance and I landed on the 10% and I lost so this here so there is still RNG but you can cancel it right won't always be easy though right right at least there's at least it shows that if you get enough right that little sliver at least can be something that you can combat against but I'm least I'm glad at least that's in there. It was really bad when I had that one percent or five percent, and it just still landed on that. After like many days of generating tons of hope. All right, well that's great. It's great. Um, let's see here. What? Yeah, I really love the music. Damn, I got an ad now. All right. Well, we've got we've got a little ad in progress. Let's see here. I just generated something new, right? The shared table. We just picked up the shared table. Um. Let's see here. I do want water to increase. Let's go ahead and research the well. I want to upgrade my well. So now, if you generate enough hope, the event can be good, become good. Supposedly, based on that diagram, it showed that yeah, it shows a hundred percent chance, right? You currently have a hundred percent chance of obtaining a good event. Good job, nice. This new rollover helps a lot. I must have missed that peculiar. Yeah, it's it's actually right here. So yes, it is possible to generate a hundred percent. You just have to roll your mouse over. And compare to see how much or where you're at. Yeah, the music is great. And then let's see here. Shared table, right? Let's figure out culture. 
Yeah, let's create a share table. It requires one water a day and some food, right? Plus two social if building is within two. Requires two uh, if building within two. Requires two buildings. Okay, so we're getting... Oh. Oh. Uh, plus two. If social building is within two. Oh. So we have a social building within two tiles. That's an awesome placement right there. So we're going to generate five hope with that spot right there. Perfect. Now I need to get a guy off of the the thing here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'll take this guy off. I'm gonna put him here to build it. Okay. Um, it changes this year in the game to reward players that work hard to create a lot of protection. I love the mechanics. I worked hard to make it interesting. The placement within distance. Yes. Very good, by the way. I definitely, definitely like some of the mechanics here because it gives you a little bit more of a strategy to think about where to place stuff. And getting like shared tile bonuses really, really adds a new layer of strategy to the game. So I do like that a lot. So this is going to be six days, right? To, before I get water. So the reason why I'm planning for water is because I remember from playing the demo there's a thing called heat domain and you need to generate water to fight the heat domain. And so I'm planning ahead so I can upgrade the well to get a lot of water. And I believe this right here this the the um let me see if there's a shift click here, right? I think this right here it doesn't say. I'm trying to figure out where the the tool tip for this building here. It doesn't say right here. But I know that here, let me, let me click on this to show you. I think this requires water, right? Or was it the other one? One of the buildings require water to generate. It's the share table. Right, right, right. It's the share table. I haven't built it yet. Got it, got it, got it, got it. It's the share table. So once I build this, I'll show you in a little bit. It's the... It's the share table that needs water. So we're going to have a water drain. And that's why I want to upgrade the well. Let's go ahead and pass our turn. Actually, you have a chance between good and bad, but if you produce enough, you can be sure that you will get a good event. Oh, okay, there's an in-between. Ah, that makes sense. Like, I haven't read the tutorial recently. We completed the research of the share table. New research resource discovered. Fear. Alright, so we generated one point. Okay, so we have 100%. So we're beating the fear, basically. Awesome. Alright, so the berries are out. I'm gonna put the guy on this then. So now we should be able to generate tomatoes. Right, we're generating tomatoes. Alright, let's do that. Nice. We built the share table. Awesome. Everyone's going to sleep. Nice. So the berries are gone. In three days, we have some random event. We're still at 100% because we're beating the fear. And then we're not generating... Let's see here. That's five. This is two, right? That requires water and berries. Or some for sort of food. Any food. Any food. Alright, I'm going to switch these two guys off. I'm going to switch them over here. Now we're doing plus five. Okay, I don't feel bad because it's actually taking the extra two, right? That's a really nice little way to do the mechanics there. So we're, we're at minus 
three per turn on food. Okay. And we're losing water per turn. Oh man, I'm gonna need more people here, huh? We're definitely gonna need more people. Well, let's put somebody on water duty. So we don't lose water. And then we're gonna probably need to... Get, um... Get more food somehow. It might expand the post to generate this. Or, or, or get this, right? How's the chicken? How long will it take to get chicken? Six turns, right? Hmm. Requires a dwelling. Okay. Alright. Six turns. That's fine, that's fine. I'm wondering if I should jump- no, uh, no, no, that's fine. Let's keep going. It's fine, let's keep going. Yeah, our food is draining right now. We are losing food per minute. Huh. Alright, we're losing food per minute. I'm thinking here, what should I do about that problem? I mean, I could put a guy on the forager, right? Because I think he could generate... He does generate extra, extra food on this. All right, all right. Well, you know what? We're going to probably want to generate another kid. So what I'll do is I'll take these guys off. And I'm going to generate another kid instead. All right, we're, we're going to need more villagers. Let's do that. Because at the rate of consumption, we're going to need more food. We're, we're going to need another worker to generate us more food, basically. I think it's like five days till the kid grows up. I think we're still beating the domain anyways. Yeah, we're still beating the domain, so that's not a problem. I like how tomatoes need maintenance. Yes, it does require some maintenance. So we've got... We've got 12. 22. We've got 22 and we're losing... Let's see here. What are we, what are we losing? 6 and 7. We're losing 3 a day, basically. Yeah, we're losing 3 a day. We currently have 22, so that means we have seven days till our food runs out. Which is fine. I think we're going to be okay. We've got four days till this kid grows up, right? I think we should... We'll still be fine. I think we'll be fine. Um, so what I'll do is... I guess what I'll do is I'll just expand this. Yeah, let's go ahead and expand this. Yeah, let's go ahead and expand this. That gets us more... Uh, one more bush, basically. Yeah, one more bush. Alright, the one guy on there, one guy on the logs, right? Alright, that should be fine. Let's go with that. No one's idle, right? Okay. Bam, everyone's eating. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dice roll time. Oh, is it 50-50? Oh, maybe I should have. Oh, I forgot to do the 100. Oh. I forgot to generate. No. No, no. That was just a small bug. Oh, okay. It's a bug. It was 100%. Okay, okay. So that was a bug. So I did get the 100%. For some reason, it showed 50-50. I'm like, wait a minute. 
Do I forget to generate something? A pip child becomes adult immediately. You can check the green color. Okay. So I did beat the, the fear. We witnessed instant growth. Okay, it got reset after the event. Got it, got it, got it. It reset after the event. Well, let's go ahead and start generating hope again. I think he's asleep, right? I can't tell if he's asleep or, oh, or awake. I think he's asleep. Exactly. It updated the text for the reset before as you hovered over it. Small bug. Yep. Hover, hover over the threat. A bit above it. The domain is sleeping. Ah, yes. Sleeping. All right. Perfect. That's fine. So we're good. I don't need to worry about it right now. Good, 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 good. We got a guy on this. We got... It would be nice to show, like, what our net gain is. Is there a way to find that out? Because right now, I'm having to do the math in my head. All right, plus four, plus four, and then it was, like, minus three, minus four. Is there a total, like, a tally? Click on the food icon on the left. On the left. This one. Click on it, right? Click on it. The group food. Uh, the food group. This one. This one. Oh, that's the total. I'm still having to do my math. The math, right? I'm still having to do math. That's fine. That's plus one. Yeah, I'm still having to do math, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. Gaining, gain 8 minus 7. <laughs> I, I was hoping that it would just basically give me a tally saying plus 1. That's all That's all I wanted to know. Plus 1, right? So I'm still having to do a little math here. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Hang on, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to lose anything if I remove the sign. I will lose that spot there if I lose, move the sign, right? I'm trying to figure <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I'm going to lose that one tile if I remove the sign, so there's really no point in removing the sign. It might just reclaim the tile back, or the... It might just reclaim the, the wood back, and that's it, right? Yeah, it just reclaims the wood back. I think I might be okay with that. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take this away. Oh, it does require a worker to blow it up. <laughs> it does require a worker to blow it up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. Okay, yeah. Alright, that's fine. So I freed up a spot. So that way, if I want to stick a house there, I could. Because the sign basically took up space. So exchanging that for the space that I couldn't get to the top, it's essentially the same thing. But I, at least I got one piece of wood back. Upgrading buildings, cool. Buildings may be upgraded, well, okay, cool. You can unlock buildings that are stronger versions of the existing buildings. You can build upgraded versions of these buildings on top of the old ones, saving a lot of building resources. Cool. So now, I want to upgrade on top of that. Yeah, I want to upgrade on top of that. Wait, wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, cancel. I 
Isn't there like a bonus for that to be next to a water maker? I think there was. I can't remember. I think there was a bonus. No, it's only dwelling, right? I think it was a puddle that was next to a water maker. Yeah, I, I think it was the puddle that had the bonus. Right, I think it was the puddle. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm gonna go, I'm okay with this. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. I do want extra water. Do I need a guy on there or no? I don't know. Do I need a guy on there? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> do I need a builder? That's the question here. Do I need a builder or it just automatically happens? Oh, I guess the builder is on there. Oh, okay, okay. So it, it disabled the guy that was working on there. Right, right, right. Right, it disabled the guy that was working on there. Right. Oh, I don't know. That was kind of weird. I guess it... I guess the guy... Okay, okay, so... I, oh, okay, I think I understand now. If I do this, that means the well can't be worked on because it's being constructed. Right. Got it, got it, got it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Right, one action per building, right. So the guy that was working on there basically got removed and the builder jumped in its place. And then, let's see here. Where else? What else can I do here? I have one free worker. What do I want to do with my free worker? You know what? Hang on. Let's go ahead and change this to be food instead. Oops, oops. I forgot to confirm it. Got to confirm it. There we go. I think everyone's w working now, right? Yeah, all right. Everyone's working. Here we go. That's it, right? Uh-oh. Our tomatoes are gone. No more tomatoes. Now this tile here, what is this? It's just grass now. It says tomato field. I wonder if I can just replant on top of it or I can just change it out. Oh, I can replant it. Right click. Right click. Oh. Right click. Oh. Okay. Okay. Plant seeds. I'll let you regrow. Okay. Right click. Good to know. Yes. Nice. Good to know. And then what, the water guy, right? There you go. Perfect. Perfect. That helps a lot. So everyone is good again. And now our net. We're still draining one a day. Which is fine. That's not a big deal. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're actually... Gaining water, right? Some water had to be used for planting and some of the seeds had to be used. Alright, that's cool. Move on. Nice. All right, I don't think we're getting any other domain, right? The only one that we're worried about is the heat domain. That's coming up. Right, right. So I'm not worried about this guy. Hope. Oh, all right, okay. Um, 
We're getting water, plus two. We're getting wood. And we're going to get the chicken a little bit. And that guy already did the planting. We have one extra guy here. Like, you know, what else can I build then? What else can I build? I can build a house. Forager now. Crops. Yeah, I can build a house. I can build another wood spot. It's like in here. Hmm. Now, here's the question for you. If I put a signpost here. Can I, oh no, that doesn't work. No, never mind. I, I can't reach it. I was gonna say, uh, the question would have been, if I, let's say hypothetically, if I put a signpost here, would I have been able to reach this side? Can they cut through the terrain and go over here? Like, let's say that was not, not, right? Not, okay. That, okay, so they can't go through this. They can't go around the trees, basically, and they can't go around the mountain. Right, it's not diagonal. Right, okay. Got it. Good to know. Good to know. Interesting. Alright, let's see here. If I go there, there's only one log, right? I can get closer towards the berry bushes. Let's do that. I want to get closer to, to, to the berries. Bam. How many more days till this grows? Alright, we should now have a chicken thingy. Chicken hen. Birding. Okay, pips can herd animals. Nice. Chick. Oh, nice. Animals. Okay, not only pips live in the village, you will also find animals of all kinds. Like pips, animals need food every day, so make sure you have plenty. Animals can be used as resources for various buildings. Okay. Um, very nice. Animals live in pens and ranches. Use the lure action on one of these buildings to lure an animal out of the forest. This will cost you some resources. Interesting. Luring, huh? Interesting. Herding. Requires dwelling within and holds for each chicken attracts. Wild events. Huh. Requires a dwelling. Alright, I'll put the dwelling right here. And attracts wild events and holds three chickens. So I don't place it on top of this. I have to herd the chicken over? Is that is that what I understand? What's this? Wild fowl. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Where was it again? It was this one, right? Herding. Okay. I'm sorry, let's try that. Let's go with this. Or you can lure them like in Minecraft. I actually don't play Minecraft. Um but okay, let's go ahead and place it here. But you will still need to have a way to do something with them. Okay. Let's place that there then. Ah, as in you cannot just eat a chicken live. Right, okay, so I gotta cook it. Okay, okay. Got it. Got it. What is this one? Ooh, egg farm. Oh, this is cool. Farmer, nice. Eggs, nice. Butcher's table, nice. Cook. Alright, so we're gonna have to cook some chickens. Yeah, that's it. A way. Nice. Feathers. Awesome. 
We're gonna have to start getting some some chickens here. Meat plus two if herding building is within one. Okay. Very cool. Okay, wait a minute. I think there's some other puddle, right? Plus one of maker heals and burning water. I'm gonna research this. So we can generate some water thingy. Okay. Plus six, minus one, right? Three more days. Okay, yeah, we're good. Go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. We've got a chicken hen. I can feel it in my bones. The next season is coming upon us. Get ready for it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here we go. The heat domain. The heat domain looms. Good thing I started the research. The heat domain feeds on the rising temperature throughout the village during hot season. It is fast, fickle, and reckless. It can spread flames every anywhere so make sure you keep it at bay heat changes with the seasons and the weather it will be replaced by cold domain during autumn okay uh, occasionally an event will change the current season season affects the heat uh, and cold domains when autumn arrives cold becomes dangerous and vice versa heat becomes your main concern when the spring arrives be careful as seasons can affect the production of buildings especially those that produce food okay uh, we are in spring. Is this guy awake or not? The domain is sleeping. Um, what about this one? I don't know if this is sleeping. Is this or is this the same thing? If awake, the dom domain will generate one fear day. I don't think this is awake, right? Oh, it's in five days till it arrives. Okay, see. Uh, season event arrives in five days. You cannot influence the outcome. Uh, event uh, level depends on the current year. Okay, let's take a look at this. Right. The heat domain. Uh, I foresee a season event. Temperature is bound to change. It will be tied to the heat domain. All right, all right, cool. All right, cool. It's fine. Now, how do I get this guy? Lower, right? Lower animals. Oh, I need seeds to lower animals. One of the wild creatures inhabit this. Okay, I don't have any seeds. Let's go ahead and change this to seeds. Confirm. In two more days, we'll get berries. And we're losing seven units of food a day. Ouch. Ouch. Go ahead and expand this so we can get more, more berries. Yeah, let's do that. Um, do they steal food? What would beavers do? You want them to eat? Uh, any chance to have some beavers in this game? Asks Zazu. They are not bad, but is a noob trap. Um, let's see here. No egg farm. Okay, so Dario says no egg farm. Almost killed me. It took more resources than I was expecting. They are not bad, but it's a noob trap. Um, and then uh, Zazu asked, uh, eat my beavers. How dare you? What would beavers do? You want to eat them? <laughs> no, no, no eating beavers. Maybe beavers... Um, could help with chopping trees faster, right? I don't know. All right, so that is getting built for an expansion. We're going to get two of this soon. And we're going to... So we're going to get the puddle, right? We're going to get the puddle to generate cold. We need the cold thingy. And we're going to we're gonna research the heat domain later, too. Um, that guy's generating water, right? 
Is there anything else I need to do here? I'm thinking here. Do I do need to do anything else? I need seeds, right? Thinking, 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 thinking. No, right? Okay. Uh, the extra person. All right, let's put the extra person on the tree. Whoop, no, he is generating trees. What can I do with this extra person? There's an extra person right now. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. What can I do with the extra person? All right, what I'll do is I'll take this guy off. And I'll generate another worker or another... Another worker, right? Let's generate another worker. That might be a mistake, but I think having more workers will be fine because then we I can put two on this, and we're gonna get this, and we're gonna get this, right? Let's do that. It's gonna take five days for that worker to pop, anyways. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Bum, ba, bum. Everyone's going to sleep. Nice. We got a puddle now. Are they okay? And then I want one guy on that, one guy on that. And one more day till we get that one right. And then we have seeds. Let's go ahead and get that guy in there. Now we have one more person left. And then we're going to generate more water. Yeah, let's generate more water. All right, we're going to switch this out. Memory retrieved pawn. That generates us more water, right? It's just basically upgrades. So the puddle basically takes one water and it generates it into the coal um, icon. Right? And then this one generates two. It's faster. It's basically an upgraded version of the puddle. Okay, I'm blinking here. Do I want that or do I want to just jump into the bonfire? Or we go to the... The, the meat cutting, right? Plus two if herding building is within. Okay. So somebody in chat said that the egg farm is a trap. <laughs> so it's a noob trap. I probably shouldn't get that one then. Hunting tent. Holds three chickens. Wait, hunt, hunting critters within two tiles. Oh, whole three chicken. Okay, that basically gets chicken to feathers. Wild hens count as critters. Oh, okay. Because before, it used to be the rabbits. And I don't see rabbits on the map. I think I'm going to go with this one then, yeah. I'll have to come back to this one. It's like 12 points. That's a lot. I'm going to take this one first. Um, since we can hunt some wild chickens. Oh, there's three wild chickens here. I'm just... Oh, I'm herding chickens over. Got it, got it, got it. Nice. Okay, we're good then. We're good. I do need an extra worker. I'm blinking here. I need to put somebody on this one.
Who do I want to take off for that? Uh, right, hang on. We're minus four, right? Two seeds. Alright, I'm going to take her off for now. And go with this one for now. Let's do that instead. Um, puddle, right? I think I might have to get a puddle, too. Diagonals don't work. Alright, so let's do this. Um, minus two, minus three. All right, I'm going to take the guy off of this. I'm going to put him on this. But I want to start generating some, some cold. Lore complete. Nice. Okay. Does that mean I have all three? Oh, I only have one. Oh, I only have one. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, the yellow one is the... The domesticated one. The, ye the orange one is the wild. Interesting. Okay. What's this say? Did not influence its outcome. Oh, right, right. But at least I'm starting to generate some, which is fine. And then we are equal on on the food level. This guy's got three more years, right? Or three more days. Okay. All right. I get that. All right. Do I want to lure anymore? No. Let's take this guy off. I'm going to put him in on this one so we can get, get a net positive here. So we're now getting a net positive on food. Oh, we have an extra worker. We do have an extra worker. I'll put it on this one then, yeah. There we go. Right, right. That's fine. So we're going to get increase in wood, which is fine. And no one's idle, right? All right it's past the turn. Somebody, you can unlock, unlock stuff during your run, by the way. Uh, okay, so, yes, rabbits have been moved later for balanced reasons. You can unlock some stuff during your run, by the way. Oh, okay. Some chick. Cool. Ooh, we got some chicks now. Nice. Alright, how many more days till that little kid grows up? I think it was like two more days, right? Two more days for the kid. And then two one more day till we get the the hunter. Um and we're still generating cold, right? Yes. And then we're positive on everything. All right, I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. Ooh-wah. Ooh-wah. Ooh -ah. Right, all right. Research complete. Hunting tent. Nice. Hunting. Pips can hunt wild animals. Terrains may contain wild animals that can be hunted by certain pips working in specific buildings. Pips will hunt these animals to reduce their output resources. Nice. Every three days, the animal population is replenished by one. This happens even if there are no animals left. However, during winter, animals are not replenished at all. Okay, very useful to know. Oh, man, with that newfound knowledge, I should have been hunting the animals earlier for food. Building conditions, creature ailments, and other ailments in the village can increase the power of the domains. For example, they can generate fear, heat, or each turn. Additional influence. 
Looks like food buildings can burn and people can burn. Okay. Let's see here. What is this? Barbecue. Whoa. Oh, barbecue. Cooked white meat. Ooh. Hunter's Lodge. This is probably an upgrade. Hunter. Ooh. Shining Rack. I'm hungry now. Oh, the barbecue. Yes, the barbecue makes me hungry too. Plus three dwelling building within. So what? Can they eat the white meat raw or no? I'm guessing yes, right? I'm guessing yes. They can, right? Okay, cool. Cool. And then if you cook it, you get... It becomes... Oh! Extra food! Nice! Alright, six points is much better than twelve. I'm gonna go with this. We're gonna get more food off of that. Man, I should have, like, done hunting earlier. I've wasted all the seasons. Hunt, uh, hunting critters within two, right? Oh, okay, that loses my thing. Hunting critters within two. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, within two. Interesting. Within two. Thinking here, where else would I want this? Because if I... Let's see here. I might want to get another house here. And move the thinker, maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking here. Or I put a signpost here and move the thinker in that corner. I don't know yet. What happened if you deny food to your villagers? Thanks for the inf info. It's a friend, I promise. You're doing good as a, as a first game already. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, yeah. This is like an Acrocola board game. Agricola board game, yes. Not the best use of meat, but yes. Um, okay, cannot put it here because the thinker will not be happy, right? I'm thinking here. Huh. Can the signpost be next to the thinker or no? Just curious. Can the sign post be next to the thinker? Nope. Okay, no structures. Got it. Okay, that's that's helpful to know. Link in here. All right, let's go with this. I don't know. I'm wondering if I place it right here later. I think the barbecue, hang on. The question here, it says something like requires two, requires hunting within two tiles, right? Plus three if dwelling buildings within two. Plus three if buildings Plus three if, if dwelling within two tiles. So I need a place... Okay, so later if I want the barbecue, if I put the hunting here and I put the barbecue here, that should work. Yeah, I think that should work. So if I put the barbecue here, that's within two tiles of that, and it's also within dwelling, right? All right, let's do this. That should be fine. That should be fine. Um, I need to get a guy off the wood on that one, right? 
Back to bed? Yeah. Good night, Lumi. You tell me. Maybe a strategy, but risky. You have a... Uh, is it worth to starve them? You have to face sickness later. Probably. <laughs> He's like, you tell me. Maybe a strategy, but risky. I don't know. I haven't gotten to that part yet, Zazu. We'll find out. What's this say? Some creatures require food. I don't know. What does this mean? Some creatures require food. Uh-oh. Well, currently I'm net positive. Chickens need seeds. Alright, let's take the chickens off then. Lure one of the wild creatures in the house. Let's take this off, right? Oh yeah, it requires two to get the next one. Got it. Can I take somebody off? No, right? No available workers. Okay, so I can't lure anymore. That's fine. Uh, they just die if not fed. Oh! Got it. Oh, interesting. So I need that barbecue sooner than later. Got it, got it, got it. Let's take this guy off then. How's that? Okay, let's, let's do that. So we need a supply of seeds, basically. All right, we should get another worker here soon. Uh-oh. We are now in the heat domain. The Elder had a vision of heat. All right, here we go. Seasonal threat. Heat is set to plus one a year. Nothing happens. Consequences in five days will have some sort of consequences. Summer is finally here. The heat is harsher during the summer. To be sure to fend off the domain uh, when a new season starts, plants that match the season will be restocked. Use this to your advantage. Ooh. So all the berries should be basically replenished. If events are left unchecked, they may have consequences. New, previously unforeseen events may appear and be added to the prophecy. A good event can block the chain. Okay. Oh, somebody is going to be uh, murdering some people here if they get too hot. Not a huge find of, find of the graphics, but the gameplay is cool. Nobody, I think, attempted that yet, but could work. I'd be very curious to see that. I'm not even 100% sure about it. What is the question Dario had? It may be possible to plan a no-feed strat, but you need experience. I'm not even 100% sure about it. Nobody, I think, attempted that yet, but it could work. I'd be very curious to see that. Oh, yes, I love pixel art, but it may not be for everyone. Yes. Um, no, I definitely enjoy this game, and pixel art never bothers me in games. Well, that is not a thing. Um, we're gonna need water, right? There you go. We're gonna generate some water. So the food is basically the same. Right? Food is basically the same. Uh, we're not losing or gaining. We're gaining water, and we're gaining seeds, right? The seeds to feed the chicken. And I'm waiting for the hunter to be done. Everyone's got jobs now, right? The baby grew up. So we're fine, right? And the chances is 100% right now, right? So we're good. Something's going to happen in a few days. And the the heat domain is awake. Plus one a year, right? Okay. All right, let's take a look at the calendar again. Yeah, so something's going to happen in five days. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pass our turn here.
Nom 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 nom. So we're gonna get some barbecue here soon, hopefully from the chickens. All right, so the builder was is now a hunter. He's gonna give us meat, right? Or he, oh yeah, he's gonna get meat. Um, once again, Zazu introduced the star mechanic of the game uh, and changed uh, metas. Hi, Pip Pepcha. Hang, thanks for hanging out, by the way. Um, there are consequences to not feeding your pips for too much. Some of the domains won't like that. All right, so we're okay on everything so far. Everything is net positive. This guy will get us meat soon, right? Chickens. Not yet. All right, well, let's go ahead and pass our turn. We should get the barbecue next turn. All right, now we should have barbecue. Uh-oh, research complete. Nice. All right, let's see here. What do I want to research? Butcher's table. Let's do herdings within building, right? Ooh, okay. Is there anything else I might want? Instead, I'm gonna start researching the bonfire. And I'm gonna take one of these thinker guys off. I'm thinking here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off. And I'm gonna dismantle it. And I'm gonna probably put it over here in this corner. And I think I'm gonna probably put a house over here. Later. Right, yeah. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pass this. Is there anything I need to worry about right now? No, right? We're still at 100%, right? Yep, we're at 100%. Oh, nom 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 nom. Or maybe I should put the hot house here. Well, it's kind of both the same, right? Regardless. Alright, what is this? We're still at 100%. That's good. I'm gonna build a house here. Add another worker. Oh, no, no. We need a barbecue table, right? The barbecue. Plus seven, right? Normally it's three. Plus three if there's a dwelling nearby. Yeah, that's the best location, right? Let's go with that. All right, we're gaining meat now, right? Yes. Let's go with that. Getting some barbecue. Some yummy, yummy barbecue. Now I want some chicken wings. There are consequences to not feeding your people. I read that message. Yep. Okay. One more turn. We're even Steven right now. We're still even Steven. Are we still at 100? Yes, we are still at 100. Passing the turn. All right, so now we have barbecue. That should increase our food output. How is the Aquin the villager doing? Oh, Aquin, he's still alive. Uh oh, here we go. It's a hundred percent, right? 
Should be 100%. Yeah, for some reason it says 50% still there, but... Sometimes Pips will ask a question and we must use all of our wisdom to decide what is the best for the villager. Think carefully as our decision will have consequence consequences. Each choice has several consequences. Each, con each consequence may optionally have a chance of being selected. Okay, if Pip has brought some wood and thinks we should place a well here, should we do that? Let them build, crude well appears. Keep the resources the villager gains for wood. Oh, interesting. We want a crude well. Or do we want four wood? Well, since it takes time to build a crude well, and the crude well is also equivalent to four, or less than, actually. I think a crude well costs less than the wood. I can't I can't remember how much a crude well cost. I think this might be better because it would be instant, right? Or no? Let's find out. Sure. Is it instant? I don't know if it's instant. One crude well appears in the village. Oh, it is instant. Kind of like a free thing. It's instant. Nice. Alright, let me see here. How much is a crude well normally? Two units. Okay. Well, it did save us two day. I think a, a day's worth, right? Two days worth. It actually saves us two days worth. Right? Two days worth and two... Right, alright, right, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, What else we got here? So you know what? I'm gonna name one of these pit... Uh, we got Aquin in here. We're going to name FIBA. Right. Actually, I'm going to put you down here. Zazu. No, we'll, we'll change FIBA. So this is now Zazu. You are now in the game. There you go. You got three U's. Done. You are now in the game. Whoa, what happened there? Zazu. Enter. Enter key. Alright. So if an event happens, Zazu is in the game. Oh, it requires wood for the barbecue. Got it. Now what can I do with this thing, then? What does the chicken do for me? Can I kill the chicken? What can I do with a chicken? The, the, the... Can this guy hunt the chicken? No, right? You need a butcher for that. Oh. So having the chicken, the hen early is not a good thing. Okay, got it, got it, got it. That takes two days to get that. Okay, got it. Hey, Animasia TV. Welcome. For now, they just eat stuff. Oh. Proof. Bad, huh? Bad. So I'm actually draining my resources for no reason. What is one run? What is, what is this one run? This game is Dot Age, and the developer is actually in our channel with us. Michael is here. He is our developer for this game. It's a, He's a solo developer, and this game here is being released in four days. And I have early access to the game. He, uh, the embargo is lifted, so now I'm streaming the game. This is the full version of the game that's not available yet. Uh, not until another four days. You guys can go download the demo if you want. It is available on the uh, Steam page. 
Let me go ahead and link it because I actually had it. Here we go. So go there if you want to check out the demo for yourself and wishlist this. It is a colony survival uh, rogue uh, light city builder. And I'm definitely enjoying this. Okay, let's see here. We've got... Let's go ahead and increase our food, right? We're generating a positive, net positive on food. And I want to get... Is the heat domain? Oh, the heat domain is still running. You currently have 83% chance of attaining a good event. Based on the current threat, you will need one more cold to get 100%. Oh. We're still in the heat domain, right? We're going to need to generate more. Oh. I think I'm going to have to upgrade this, don't I? Shit. Uh, let's take a look at this. I might not need the bonfire. Oh, it's going to take 12 days to upgrade. No, 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 no. How many more days till the, the next one? I think it's like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight days, huh? Eight, nine, ten. Nope, it's gonna take too long. I think I have to make another one of these. Yeah, I think I have to make another one of those. Otherwise, we're screwed. do that. I'm going to need another worker. Alright, we're not going to generate the seeds. Let's take this guy off. This guy is... What is this? Turn this off? Can I turn this off? Wait, can, can I take this off? I can't click on it, right? It's just going to die off, right? It requires a worker to destroy it. Like, yeah, I don't think anyone's on there, right? I don't think anyone's on that. Oh. It's just dra draining my thing now, right? That's fine. I need to work on that one, though. It's like in here. I'm still at net positive, so I don't think that's a problem. Okay, so I get that. Now what else? What else? I need to generate more water. No, I... No, I'll be fine, right? I'll be fine. This and this one, right? Do I have extra workers? I don't have extra workers. Yeah, you know, that's fine. Let's go past this. Let's pass this. How much food do we have? There. So I've got the meat. Which is fine. So, yeah. So the chicken hen was kind of a noob trap because I didn't make the butcher. Okay, so large bonfire. That's an upgrade. What is this one? Increase hope. We don't need hope. Hmm. Interesting. 12, 12. Cultivation. No, I don't need that. Don't need that. Construction. What do I do with the construction? Stone gallery. I don't need that. Workbench. Don't need a workbench. Wood stack. Don't need work, work stack. All right. Well, let's go ahead and progress towards that then. I don't know if we're going to get to that in time. Um. Let's see here. We don't need hope, Ron, 2023. <laughs> we don't need hope. Uh, like I said, weird guy to try to feed everybody. Yeah, it's not a good idea to feed this over here, right? We're at a net positive right now. I'm thinking. 
We're draining water. We're increasing four a day. Currently have a 100% chance of attaining good events. So that's perfectly fine there. We got a thinker here. We're getting guy to get meat. We got a guy to convert the meat. All right, we're generating meat, converting meat. Yep, 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 yep. I think everything's fine. So the chicken basically was a noob trap at the end of the day. Is there anything else I need to worry about? This generates four a day. That generates four a day, right? Yeah, all right. So we should be still be fine. Let's go ahead and pass. Yeah, the animals are dying off and I don't really care. We can't do anything with the animals. Nice. We're generating meat there from the barbecue. Yeah, so the feather, the chicken thing, definitely, the chicken hen is definitely a, a noob trap. Very early on. Beware, a doom event is coming soon. Prepare for it, for it may be the end of our village. Alright, that's fine. Done. The Elder had a vision of heat. Uh-oh. At the end of each page of the prophecy, a vision of doom will appear. These events are stronger than usual, but fighting them off unlocks the next page of the prophecy and may even grant you something more. Great. Maybe a cat. Actually, the last time when I did this, I actually had two different outcomes because I actually did win this uh, multiple times. Doom prophecies will arrive with an increased threat, so it will take some of the... It will take all of the villagers' resources to fight them off. Okay. So in eight days, the Doom event arrives in eight days, you can influence its outcome. Event level depends uh, on the accumulated heat and it, it and will be maximum one. Uh-oh. Okay, based on the current threat, you will need two more cold to get 100%. Oh no. The heat's getting harder, huh? Yep, the heat's getting harder. Well, if I want to beat the heat, I need, I need two more cold units. Oh boy. Yeah, it generates three per turn now. Yeah, it's. Hmm. Let's see here. Am I gonna beat the food? Okay, I could probably take somebody off of food. Right, I could probably take somebody off of food. Um. All right, let's go ahead and build another pond. Yeah, we don't need to generate the heat. Let's go ahead and build another pond here. And I need another worker. Let's take this guy off. We're gonna build a pond. Yeah, that's fine. I think that should be fine. We're still plus net positive of two food, right? Yeah. But I think that should be fine. Let's go with that. Perfect. Uh-oh. We built Puddle. How, how are we doing? We're at 100%. Chance of survival is now 100 so we just got to maintain this. I know we're losing water, but we did stockpile a bit. So we should be able to survive the seven day threat. And then the wood is being consumed by barbecue. We should be able to survive that as well. You know what? Hang on. Let me take this guy off because the maximum cap is 40. So we can put that on this. To keep the wood flowing, right? So the wood must flow. The spice must flow. The wood must flow. 
we're at 100%, right? So this should be fine, theoretically. Theoretically. All right, let's do this. So yeah, my mistake for this run was basically wasting research on the hen, the chicken hen, and building the chicken hen and feeding the seeds into the hen. That was definitely a noob trap. Let's go ahead and pass this. Chicken died due to starvation. Yeah, that's fine. Let's pass. You're playing better than most as a first game. Oh, thank you for that. Appreciate that. Well, you know, it helps having the developer in the channel. That's probably why. I picked up some, some tips there from you. So yeah, the only bug that we found was basically the 50-50 that got generated midway during the event. So that was slightly confusing. That's the only bug I guess we found today. Do I need to file a bug report or you got it? <laughs> Experienced players of such games will probably want to try out harder difficulties after they test out the mechanics. And they are increasingly uh, difficult. Uh, or. And then there are increasing difficulties. Testing the starved mechanics on the chickens first. Nice idea. Nice. Now nah, I wrote it down. All right. Thank you for that, Mike. Michael. All right. So we should be fine, theoretically, right? I could keep passing. We're at a net positive on the food. Hang on. If we're a net positive on the food, let me take the food. We are net positive on the food by one point. No, no, we should be fine. Let's go ahead and pass. Yeah, we're at 100%. I think the reason why we're net positive on the food is the chicken, the barbecue, right? Yeah, the barbecue kicked in. All right, what does this say? Event level. Higher level events have stronger and more powerful effects. The level of unknown events depend on the power that is uh, that its domain has accumulated when the vision comes. The level of good event, uh, good events depend on the protection. So zero hope to five fear. Something happens, right? One. So that means the the power is one only, and you don't get a major negative consequence. So if that means if the fear level is super high and you have no protection, then it looks like a, the negative event power level four means many people die. I see. All right, pass. Well, so far, we're doing good, right? 100% chance of a good event. And it's going to be five days. I think we should be fine. Just keep passing, right? Yeah, so we're losing two now. Which is fine. We're gaining one. We're losing water, which is fine. Yeah, we should be fine overall. Let's pass. Boing, boing, boing. Uh-oh. Everyone's going back to bed. Oh, okay. So this is like the notifications. That's the last known notification. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So we're still doing good. Let's keep passing then. I don't want to mess up our, our flow here. Alright, we're gaining plus one on the food. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take the 
food guy off. I'm going to put him on water duty. Just to keep that going, right? Because we're only losing, what, five units of food now. Which is fine. Let's go ahead and pass. I think it helped earlier on that I had that second thinker's post. So I think most people don't think about adding a second thinker's post. So accelerating the research really helped a lot. Alright, so our water supply is now being maintained. Alright, you know what? I could probably take this guy off and switch to this since we have so many of this. This is going to convert into seven, right? Well, that should be fine. Exactly. People underestimate the importance. Exactly. People underestimate the importance of research. Yeah, researching, I remember, was like a big thing. And that's how I got ahead of the curve because I was researching, unlocking things fast. But definitely the sign, that tip about the sign helped a lot. Because before I was using the housing to expand my territory. But we should be fine still, right? We're still beating the, the heat. It takes two days to get a chicken. But we have like five extra white meat right now. We don't want them to eat this, right? Yeah, we don't want them to eat this. Yeah, I forgot to starve them, right? Cancel them from eating the white meat. We're losing two a day, right? Which is fine. Alright, let's take the woodcutter off and we'll go ahead and start getting more white meat here. Alright, one more day. I think we're still at 100%, right? Yeah, we're still at 100%. Here we go! The Doomsday in one day. Uh oh, here it comes! Here it comes! Memories unlocked. You can now unlock memories by playing. Okay. As I continue to tell stories, even more of my memories will surface. Each time an event occurs, you will receive memory points. If the memory is good, you will receive even more points. You can use memory points to unlock new game elements for your current and future stories. Look out for the unlocks bar next to the research button. Oh, okay, cool. Memory points. Kind of like a Citadel upgrade. All right, what do we got here? Oh, it still says 50-50 there, but the bar is green. Boons. Hey, look at that. I got a Steam Achievement. For me, get a boon. Domains grant your village some power. Boon events. A doom event has averted. This, was, this has a huge impact on the village, which can then take some of the domain's strength. Okay. We may choose a boon. Boons can slightly change the nature of our village, so be sure to choose wisely. All right. We get a little boon. All right, cool. What is this? Wait, I remember that after the doom event was averted, the village was different. Boon wi wider borders. Territory expands one tile more. Oh, that's very cool. Boon, Surge of Knowledge. The village gains 30 knowledge. Healthier crops. Crops allow two more activations before depleting. Hmm. Interesting. So do I want more food? Do I want more territory? Or do I want 30 points of knowledge? 30 points is actually a lot. That's like 30 days if you only have one thinker. 
I think that might actually be better, right? Because two more, two more crop activation, eh. I can probably get that easily, but 30 knowledge point, I think, is a huge deal. Even if with, even, even if I had like two more, two thinkers running at the same time, that's like 15 days worth. Right? Theoretically. I think this is probably the best way to go. I'll take this one, actually. Knowledge is power. Oh, what's this? Memories. Unlock new memories using the memory points accumulated. Okay. I agree. Oh, whoa. Boon. Surge of knowledge. Great, great. We got the village. Gains 30 knowledge. Alright. Alright, what happens now? Do we go to another village or do we keep going? We fought the doom brought upon us, but I sense that this is not the end. Okay. I see it now. New and stronger challenges are coming. Uh-oh. What's going on? The prophecy is clearer in my mind. Let me tell you what fate has in store for us. So this is where the demo ends, by the way. Since I have the full version, I don't know if it ends here or it just basically lets you continue with another town. Let me tell you what Faith has in store for us. Oh, we do go on. That This is it. We must survive to reach the next Doom event. Remember, this will not be the last. Okay. All right. We're, we're going to keep going then, huh? With the same town. Let's keep going then. What is this little thing here in the corner? Whoa, what is this? Whoa, what? What's happening? I see, I see. We have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. Uh-oh. The elder... Oh, had a vision of something. Pawn research. Yeah, okay. Training. Pips can be trained. Can train to learn new professions. Okay. Some buildings require trained professions to work in them, as pips must be skilled enough with the tools of the trade. Professionals can be identified by their fancy hats. A professional can work in more buildings, but they can still work in basic buildings. Okay. It's kind of like uh, oxygen not included. You get the hats for each of the worker types. Training professionals. To train a professional, use train action on a building from its action menu. You will need a free pip and sometimes a matching tool resource. Okay. Memory retrieved. Training. All right. So we still have to continue, huh? Let's see here. What What is this little tab here? Oh, it was the first scroll. Okay, what's the second one? Oh, it's the second half of the... Uh, oh, okay, it's the second half of the prophecy. This is the first half of the prophecy, basically. So we beat the first half. So this keeps going. Okay. So how many... How many of these tabs... Um, do I have to go through? If it's not a spoiler for you to tell me this. I'm just curious how many more... You'll find out? Alright, so I will find out. That's fine. Alright, so we got another domain fear coming here. So we're going to have to build up some hope. We've got hope here. It will be tied to the sickness domain. So we're going to have to figure out something about sickness later, right? So I think I saw something that we need to research regarding sickness. This is part of the fear domain. Sickness domain, right? Heat domain. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Um, okay, what's this memory unlock thing? Okay, mini events. New mechanics. Unlock with five points. They may appear during play. A new game mechanic is found. 
Okay, I only have five points, so I guess I can only go there, right? Hang on, now. The game did say something about during research, you can use memory. It gets bigger and bigger. Now, there's something... It, it, I remember the tooltip said something about memory can also be used during research. This is just the beginning, I said. Aha, okay. Looking nice? Yeah, okay. Let me think here. Can't... W wait to waste my time on that. Yes, looking nice. Yes, yeah, Cyber Dude. It's awesome. It's very exciting. A lot, lot of stuff going on here. I'm thinking here. How do I want to advance this? Because I know we're going to need medicine. Right? Because there was a sickness earlier. Which one was the medicine one? I think there was a medicine somewhere earlier, right? I want to fight the medicine domain. I'm trying to remember where the medicine one was. Herb picker. Seasonal. Um, okay, so I need... Oh, what is this one? Hidden behind the thing. Growth. Community, right? Community. Distress. Requires hope. Heals distressed, infused stuff. Okay. Heals people with distress. This idea is unlocked inside the Elder's memory. Play more to remember more. Okay. Um, I've yet to play against the Storm. I think they went with a similar idea, like Rogue Light Village Builder. It looks very fun. Yeah, Against the Storm has a... Um, a upgrade citadel kind of thing. Ah, I think this is it, right? I think it was this. Remedy. Because I'm guessing that's going to be needed to fight the sickness. I'm, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. Is it automatic? Do I uh, do I just automatically spend my points? Oh no. Oh, okay. Next turn, I get the twenty-seven points applied to the four. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So what I want to do then is I'm gonna want to, to add more more villagers. Yeah, I want to add more villagers. What is this? View action slots. Oh, okay. Specials, okay. Uh, yep, you next turn you'll keep the rest. Ah, okay, got it, got it, got it. But I generate plus one, so I'll have to okay, got it, got it. It basically subtracts four and it instantly gets the thing. Very good, very good. But right now, I need to get I want to generate more people. Definitely want to generate more people. Uh, 14 minus 3. Who can I take off temporarily? I think I'm going to take off the... The foodie guy. I'm going to take off the foodie guy. And then I'm going to... Build another house. thinking here. Do I want right there or just right here? Yeah, I'm going to put it right here so that way it expands to the left a little bit. Alright, he's asleep, right? It's going to be in six days when he wakes up. All right, that's fine. We've got six days to worry about that. All right, cool. Let's see here. All right, why don't I go ahead and unlock the new mechanics? Let's try this. 
Hopefully I'm not gonna regret this. Many events may appear. Sometimes many events will appear in the village. These are short events that have small effects. Usually good. Cool. Unlock with five points. Okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, I gotta go now, but it was very exciting watching you play. Very excited for, for release and everyone to try to fight the apocalypse. Yeah. Well, thank you, by the way, Michael, for for uh, hanging out. And uh, everybody, don't forget to go wishlist the game and check out the demo. It is available. And if you have any questions, you can always pop into the Dot Age Discord channel. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a quick break and use the bathroom, and then I'll continue playing. So BRB real quick, guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, where are we now? We just, um, spent the memory, right? The five memory. Yep, we just spent the five memories that we got. And then, um, I guess we need to beat the next event. Or the next, uh... Doom event, right? To get five more. And we're currently working on building a new house to get some more villagers. And I thought no one's idle, right? Yep, no one's idle. No one's sick, right? Yep, no one's sick. Okay. Let's go with that. Um, all right, let's just pass then. We should be fine. I don't know if you can actually tear down the mountain. Remedy rug, cool. I'll take that. Um, oh, we are right. Building a house takes two days. Forgot about that. What else do we want here? Okay. Pharmacist Stan. New job. Healer. Nice. So, ailments being sick. Healer's hut. Okay. Requires health maker makers within one tile. Okay, so this one right here is the Remedy Rug. And it provides... Okay, if plus, plus one if Hep Maker is within two. And then this is... Takes Hemp Water and converts uh, something. I don't know what that icon is. Um, some healing dish or herbs or... For medicine. I'm guessing that's just medicine, right? That's just probably what it is. Um, this is a level two, right? Probably infusion. Yeah, maybe. Requires health maker and uh, heals the sick people, right? Okay, heals. Okay, heals two sick pips with infusion. Oh. Okay. Got it. And that just heals people in general. All right. Well, why don't I just go ahead and research this? This seems like the logical thing to do. I don't know. Retreat. Oh, a retreat generates two. But it requires a specialized dude.
All right. You know what? I'm going to go with this because that way we can generate more science faster. I think this makes the most sense in one turn. Yeah, we're going to do that in one turn. Um, I'm going to take this guy off. And we're losing food over time. Let me put that guy over there. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take this off as well. Right. And we're going to we want to build up our food here. We want more wood, right? All right, that's fine. We we don't need to generate any more of the of the cold fight thingy, right? Let's take a look at this though. Well, it is showing. It's it's going to appear in what? Uh, fifteen days, twenty days. Well. A little less than 20 days. Which is fine. Which is fine. We'll build up towards it. Yeah, let's do that for now. Pass. Okay. Yeah, that chicken hen thing was a noob trap. Alright, so we've got a retreat now. I'm gonna say okay. And then... How do I... Where's the other guy? Where's the thinker guy? There's another... Hey, this guy, right? I think there's a way... How do I train him? Okay, nothing needs to be nearby, right? Oh, I can build it on top of it, right? There. That guy's on it. What else? What else? Um, I'm thinking here. Let's see here. We can take the guy that's on cold, right, off. And we're gonna we're gonna make some babies now. There. So let's make some babies. And this guy's gonna upgrade that and resume it. I don't know if we need to figure out how to train him though. All right, everyone's not idle, right? We're good, right? There's no ailments. Dead pips, lost pips, eight, right? Growing, zero, none. Ailments, none. Alright, that's fine. Leave it like that. Alright, let's pass. Let's see what we got here. Ah. Okay, Baru. Barau, Baru, Bararu, Bararu is growing. You know what? Um, let's see here. Train profession, right? That's fine. We'll train the profession. And then. Let's see here. What else can I do? Take this guy off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another. Oh, I can't. Gr oh, I can't make another baby, huh? Because the the child is in there. Oh, because there's a child in there already. In 
interesting. Okay, okay. Um, that house, I can't make another baby. The child is already growing up in here. Um, all right, all right, that's fine. Well, let's generate some hope then with these two. Since we're getting that domain coming up. And then we need to pick something, right? Secluded retreat. What's this do? Oh, generates three points, huh? You can't make a child while a child is watching. If it is an adult, it's fine. <laughs> Hmm, right, exactly, Dario. All right, right. All right, I think I'm gonna re use my remaining knowledge points to give me a boost in knowledge. I think this makes the most sense. Let's go with that. So that way we lose 12, but once this guy is done training, he's gonna generate us three points a day. That will help a lot. Alright, let's do that. Ouch. Went there. <laughs> Baru. Hey, greedy turtle. Alright, what's happening here? Pike? Pico has completed thinker training. Nice. The village gains two hope. Nice. Unknown resources. Sometimes uh, pips will find new resources in the surrounding village. What they are for may not be clear at first, but keep researching new buildings, and you may find use. Uh, you may. And you will find a use for all the resources you find. Okay. What's your thoughts on the haulers? I haven't yet really used more than one. Hey, greedy turtle. Um, my thought uh, is not it not as useful, right? If you have a surplus of workers, maybe. I haven't actually used it. My current thought on the whole patch update for Against the Storm on the warehouse. Um, I'm kind of really disappointed that they switched this whole list view thing. Because I can't open up the warehouse and get like a, a summary or a glance at all my resources. I wanted the original, you know, grid view of all the icon resources in one click. Right now, they've got this list view where they added the the uh, resource limit, you know, uh, mechanics. And so I have to scroll through that list to find all the things I, I need or, or that I want to know about. Or I have to, like, flip around with the custom tracker or something along the top to, to look at all the different resources. And that that's slightly annoying. It's multiple clicks that's not necessary, in my opinion. So with that in mind, like, I'm not too happy with the whole Holer Station revamp thing into the warehouse. Now, I would really like it if they hotfix that so that I can get, like, a, um, a grid view. Sort of like in, in um, Windows Explorer, there's grid view and list view, right? And detailed view, right? So currently, it's kind of like in the detailed view right now, where it's got, like, you know, the limited thing and then the tracker checkbox thing. I would really want the whole thing to be switched, or an option to switch back to the grid view. And have that as my deep default view. Yeah, many people share your opinion. They will probably add a second panel view. Yeah. I mean, I, I looked at the, my feedback. It got a lot of thumbs up. And I went to the Steam forum, and sure enough, I wasn't the only one that complained about the warehouse problem. So, definitely glad to know it's just not me. My OCD is just 
Not me, right? Yeah, they need to, to rip it out of the warehouse entirely and put a single view resource tab. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that, the greedy turtle. So let me, you know what, since we just got a new kid here, we're going to name Baru. We're going to name Baru Greedy Turtle. How's that? Baru, the little kid, you are now Greedy Turtle. Anyone else wants a name? MB Hank, would you like a uh, name? Since you uh, interacted, I'm gonna burn everything down. <laughs> so Varu, or sorry, Hank, you are now in the village. Who else wants a name? Sheppin, you want a name here? Let's call this guy Sheppin. Sheppin. Oh yeah, right. All he has for it. Sheppin, you are now in our village. Uh, you can uh, build me a castle? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I agree with you in a better way to organize the customizable panel resource overlay. Yeah, that would be nice too. All right, so let's figure out what else we want to research. So that got done. And I think we're, we were going to go with the pharmacist, pharmacist stand, right? Let's go with that. What does this do? I don't know what that star thing means. I feel like I need that for some reason. I don't know what that star icon means. Nature, right? Nature. Essence of nature. Creating, created in the village to help combat events of cataclysm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Health. Essence of health. Made in the village to help fight against disease. Infusion. The aroma of these infusions filled the, uh, the air in all the pip houses. We made them from the odd herbs we found around the village. Okay, that's fine. Let's go with, let's go with this. Let's go with this. And this guy is generating... Oh, I need to upgrade that, huh? Oh, and it requires 15 logs. Well, I can't just get the three right away. Okay, so I need more. Hang on. I think we need more wood, huh? I'm starting to feel like we need more wood. But I changed my mind. Let's go with the extra woodcutter. Well, wasn't there a... Woodcutter thingy? Well, right, wood stack, right? Increased by four. Yeah, this is this is two, this is four. Let's do this. I'm gonna go upgrade this one instead. And that's gonna take two more turns. Three more turns. Three more turns. Ugh. Alright, alright, that's fine. We definitely need more wood. Okay, what else? We are net positive on food by three. Which is fine. Is there anything else I need to worry about? I'm looking around to see if there's anything we need to worry about. No, right? We're net positive on water. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pass. Yeah, the secluded retreat requires 15 logs, and I don't have 15 logs. And so I'm trying to upgrade the the lumber thingy or wood pile. What's this? We completed the research of secluded trees. Right, that's the last thing. What's happening? What's happening? What event is this? Refreshing quench. The villager loses one water. The villager gains two. Okay. I guess it must be like a freebie conversion. Yeah, 
Yeah, that might have been a freebie conversion. Yeah, it was, actually. It was. Alright, what's this one say? Yep, yep. Alright, freebie conversion. Because we don't have anyone generating that, so... Alright, we're net negative on this thing. How many... Two more days till the child grows up. 9, 10, 11, right? We should be fine on the cold domain. I'm thinking here. Okay. Alright, so 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, that's fine. You will need to replace clearing on the wood pile. Yes, you're right. You are right. I'm thinking of placing it somewhere else. And then just reconstruct that. And then I'm probably going to put a sign here to see if I can expand this way. I don't know if I can clear that. I might be able to clear that too. So I'm going to do the clearing here. In that corner. I'm going to take these guys off. One there. I'm going to put a guy on one of these. Increase our food a little bit. Alright, we'll do that. Something's happening. Some event. Distressed. Oh no. Fear threat rises. Zazu is distressed. Fear threat increased permanently by one. Zazu gained the impulsive quirk. What does that do? <clears throat> Bit of anger. Oh no. Is he going to beat up some people? Hate. The stress of everyday life can make pips in intolerant, and these events are here to show you just how much. Okay. Bit of anger. What's going to happen to Zazu? Zazu's got an ailment. Ailments. Pips may be aff affected by ailments. Okay. Impulsive. Okay. New quirk discovered. Creature ailments. After an event, a pip may be affected by an ailment. You will, you will notice that they are behaving strangely. An icon over their head will help you identify the ailment. There are dozens of different ailments. Some are good. Some are pretty bad. Uh, check the Agepedia for more information on each ailment when you encounter a new one. Increasing threat. A domain's threat increases. It begins to produce even more power. How much power is produced depends on the current threat. But the increase rises more with each level, so be sure to keep up with them. Okay. Uh, after an event, a quirk can be assigned to a pip. Uh, the quirk will mark the pip for future events, unlocking subsequent events associated with it. After an event, a quirk can be assigned to a pip. Do I, when it says can be assigned, is that can be assigned by me? Or can be assigned by by the event automatically. So this is kind of amb ambiguous, right? After an event, a quirk can be assigned to a pip. 
Is it telling me that it's being assigned by the event or can be assigned by me? I'm guessing it's by the event. Pip selection. You can check information about specific pips by holding down shift key and right click. Yes, the dev Michael had mentioned that earlier. He gave us that freebie tip at the very beginning of the stream. This is most likely uh, mostly informative, but there are some actions available in the panel that appears. Okay. You have no individual control over pips. Okay. So who's got an ailment? You've got growing as an ailment. Zazu is distressed. The hardships of his life can take their toll. Of, of the hardship of this life can take their toll on some pips, and let's not get started on thoughts of the afterlife. Worried pips need to be reassured that all will be uh, be well, even if it probably won't be. Oh, it's a mess. All right, let's figure out how to. Oh, um, Zazu here. I don't know what that thing is. It's in here. Distress. How do I fix this? Here in relaxing stand, the place uh, was a comfort to the numerous pits who passed by, drinking some infusion and thinking about their day certainly helped put things into perspective. Okay. We need a relaxing stand. Where's the relaxing stand? Temp infusion time for Zazu. Where's the relaxing stand? Heals two sick pips with infusion. What's the plus one there? Fights against the disease. I think I still need this, right? Community? Ah, the relaxing stand. Heals three distress pips. Oh. Okay. Now, what was the other one? Creates infusion. Heals two sick pips with infusion. Oh. Heals three with distress pips with infusion. Distress. So the other one was just healing. What kind of healing does this one do? It just says too sick. Sick. Okay, okay. Sick is different from distressed. Got it. All right, well, let's go ahead and research this then. I just want that right away then. Oh, shit. Do I lose my thing? Did I lose my other thing? Oh, okay, okay. It's how much I've already gotten. Okay, I don't actually lose the thing. Hmm. You know, I'm almost there. Let's finish that off. It's one more day, right? Yeah, it's one more day. Or do I want the healing right away? No, no, no. We're we're fine. We're fine. We'll we'll take the we'll take the the wood cutting thing. I have one extra worker. What am I going to do with this one extra worker? All right, let's go ahead and generate more food. I'm thinking here. Do we want to generate more food? Oh, he's sick. So that means he's not contributing, right? I think he's just not contributing. I'm thinking here. 
want to do anything else. Um, but he's chomping that one. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take this then. Yeah, that's fine. Gain some food then. Nine more, right? No, that's actually bad for... We're gonna go over the max cap. Alright, well, let's, let's go ahead and get some more medicine then. Or seeds. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Let's just get seeds. So Zazu is actually on that one. I need 15 to upgrade this guy, right? Alright, so this one right here. We're gonna switch over to the healing, the relaxing stand. Zazu, take care of the situation. Don't worry. <laughs> yes. So now, let's see here. I want to upgrade that one. Hey, wait, how many days is that? Three days, huh? Requires four logs. That's fine. Let's go with that. And then we'll take this guy off to do the building. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he switched over. Oh, the kid grew up. Yeah, the kid grew up. Okay, so let's take the food off then. Um, four units. All right, let's take this off. We're gonna pop another kid. Yeah, we're gonna pop another kid. All right, everything should be fine then, yeah. Distribution. Safadi is growing. What a weird name. I see, I see. We have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. Alright. Pretty sure we can avert it. Oh no, we got another one. Sickness domain looms. Oh boy. Dozens of unknown diseases threaten the village. Brought by the mysterious forces, pips can fall ill without even knowing what has struck them. The sickness domain creates events that can render your pips useless or even kill them. Place buildings that increase health and make sure to cure the various disease, diseases that may appear. The sickness domain is ferocious and will feed on the slightest symptom. Okay. All right. So let's name the new guy. It's a new guy. It's got some weird name that I don't even want to pronounce. We're going to call this guy Dario. How's that? Dario has been contributing to the stream here. Ah, cool. Yes, Dario. Welcome to the village, Dario. All right, so we've got a couple of more days on that guy. Two more days on that guy, right? We have two guys that's not doing anything. And I need to figure out how to advert this one. And I believe that is what... What is that one? A remedy, right? Remedy is for healing. Uh, plus one if Hep Maker is within two. And a dwelling. Nice. Requires dwelling within two plus one hep maker within two, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Right there is a good spot. 
All right, so we got a builder there. And we're losing 11, right? What else do I want to do with this other guy? What do I want to do with this other guy? We got an extra guy now, huh? I could add more... More water. Or more food. Like here, what else do I want? What else is available? What was this one? Heat, right? Hold. Upgrade. Oh, upgrade the pawn. Yeah, let's upgrade the pawn. That might be better. Is it being upgraded? I don't know if it's being upgraded. Oh, 12 logs. Eh, can't do it. I need logs. A thinker? I already got a thinker here. I mean, I could add another thinker, I guess. But that eats into the wood. I'm trying to stockpile the wood to convert that to a retreat. Alright, that's fine. Why don't we go ahead and just... Generate more water. Yeah, let's just generate more water. We're good then. Yeah, let's do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the graphics or the art where the houses are all lit up at night. That's kind of cool. Alright, so we got one more day on that one and one more day on that one. And then we're working on generating water, right? Alright, still 50-50. There's actually no growth right there. Okay, we're generating seeds, right? Alright, you know what? Let's switch from seed to hemp. We might need that. I feel, I feel like we might need a lot of that. Let's go ahead and generate some of that. Look at that. Finally, our logs. We're getting somewhere there. Oh, please be a positive event. <laughs> please be positive. What was that? Oh, it's positive. We got something there. Meditation. The village gains four nature. Awesome. Cataclysm domain. The cataclysm domain looms. The earth has a mind of its own. There are natural calamities beyond your control. Beware of the nature domain. For as the years pass, the ground begins to grumble and unknown forces implode. Defending against nature events is difficult as these forces are beyond your control. Plan accordingly and rebuild to survive the catastrophes that strike the village. Perhaps treating nature with respect and will help. Yes, let's do that. We witness meditation. Okay. Research uh, completed, relaxing stand. Now we can start healing people. Their healing stand, right? Requires hope maker within one tile. Hope maker within one tile. Alright. Yes, right there is fine, right? It's probably the best spot. I can't think of another spot. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're just generating... Ah, uh, okay. You're generating the... 
the uh, health... The health one, right? Yes, okay. So to treat the other guy, to treat Zazu, right? I need to switch this guy out. Go ahead and add this to build. Or no, 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 no. Let's take this guy off. Right, so we're generating hemp. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Stop bullying me. <laughs> Alright, well, let's let's switch this out. What do we want to research? We want to research. I feel like this is better, right? Requires wood woods terrain within one. Season is autumn. Um, tool bench will be useful. Okay, let's let's. I'll take that advice. Let's go with this then. I'll I'll take your advice on that. Tool, tools it is. I don't have it yet, so we'll go with that. All right. Is there anybody else? Do I need to start popping more kids? I think I, I feel like we need to pop more kids soon, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, I'll pass the turn. Everyone's got something to do. Oh, no, no. There's a kid. Dario is still growing up, right? No, we do have a... We do have a kid growing up. But we will have an extra worker soon. Which will be fine. Oh, I think I need to. I need to train somebody for the relaxing station. I see. I see an unknown event coming. The vision. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. Of course. Oh shit! It's actually hard. Oh shit. Um, wow. Okay. What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? I need to train this guy, right? generate yeah I need to generate hope I, I gotta free up two guys though to generate hope that's the problem <laughs> things will start escalating a bit yes I'm I'm getting that feeling right now you may need to plan a bit yes I'm getting that feeling right now I'm thinking here we need more workers. We need more lurkers. Alright, let's take this guy off. I need another person. Let's take this guy off. Let's generate some hope. Yeah, let's generate some hope. We'll have to figure out something about the food later. Yeah, that's fine. We should be fine. Let's go. Let's go with that for now. We just need to heal Zazu first so then he can be effective somewhere else. Because he's the one that's generating additional fear. But once Zazu is healed, we'll be one less fear point. Zazu generating fear? I like it. <laughs> yeah, Zazu is generating fear right now. Plus one for four. Right, so we're getting positive three. Okay, so we need a couple of more. But one more turn, we'll be able to upgrade the, the retreat. We are slowly losing food. 
Um, what am I going to do about that problem? Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and generate more wood, because I do need wood faster. We'll worry about the extra food problem later. I do need wood faster. Let's do that first. Alright, space bar. Alright, hopefully... Zazu... is healed. Oh, he's running around looking like he's healed. I think he's healed. Nope, not yet. How do I get how do I heal Zazu? How do I heal Zazu? Cure disease. Use this building to cure distress. Maybe Zazu can't heal himself. I don't know. I don't know. Can we... No free patient. What? No free patient. Available. Zazu. Your disease. Oh, okay. Alright, so if you put a worker on there, he generates the infusion. Oh, okay, so he, he, okay, he has to be free. Use this building to clear the distress ailment on a pit. Okay, fine. Oh, it takes one day to, okay, all right, it takes one day. Got it, got it. Let's find out if that works. I don't know. I really don't know if that works or not. I don't know, can he heal himself? I don't know how this works. I don't know if he can heal himself or not. Well, let's find out. I don't really know. Weird. Use this building to clear. Does not seem to. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't seem to heal. Not related. Not related. I don't know. I really don't know. Let's find out. Let's 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 have him not work. I don't know if that's going to help or not. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Are you sure? I'm thinking yes. I don't know. And you sacrifice me for the good of the colony. I'm fine to face my death. I don't know. I don't know how that works if I accidentally made him the guy that does the thingy. Aquin is stunned for three days. So that's three days, not terribly loud. Sickness threat increases permanently by one. Aquin gained this symptom. Sympathomatic quirk? Burp? What the hell is that? Oh my god. He probably murdered everybody. Stunned. Okay, yeah. Disabled pips. Pips can be disabled by various effects, such as being stunned, refusing to work. While disabled, a pip won't be able to work for a few turns. Okay, fine. 
I don't know. It looks like that one turn that I passed, basically, did not work. No free patient available. What? What? What is this? But if I learned that, I learned that you sacrificed me when you could have healed me. I would take it personally, Ron. I mean, we have the medicine. Maybe I need a separate person. He's obviously not helping right now. Let me go ahead and add him to this. I don't know what's going on. One person's done, right? How's my wood? Okay, my wood is done. Let me take this guy off. Go ahead and upgrade the retreat. Still have an extra worker. Okay. Let's see here. What else can I do with this extra worker? Alright, I'm gonna add another house. I'm gonna add another house. We can pop more kids here. Yeah, let's add another house so we can pop more kids. I will steal your coffee and giggles, then you will be the one who is stunned. And ciggies, ciggies, coffees and ciggies, cigarettes. Um, okay, so, hey, Michael, you're, you're back. So you need one of the healers first, and then the patient too, to be free and available. Then you can use that action. So I guess if my healer is also sick, I can't... I can't do both, right? Popping, popping up just to say that you need both a free patient and a free professional that can cure. Oh, so okay. So if my healer is also sick, he can't do. He can't heal himself. Is what you're saying? Is that what I understand, Michael? Popping. Um, no need. I'm always stunned by how inefficient you are. Uh, I will steal your- yeah, 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 okay. Alright, well, let me, um... I feel it in my bones. The next season is coming up upon us. Get ready for it. Okay. Yes, okay. So, you're saying is that... Yes to my question. That's how it works in real life. Well, I mean, the doc- It's not true, though. Because the doctors can heal themselves. In real life. A doctor can heal himself in real life. I mean, a brain surgeon may not be able to, you know... Not as much as I am by your villagers and suffering from hungering, Aquin replying to Zazu. To a minimum extent. Yeah, to a minimum extent. For the most part, doctors should be able to heal themselves depending on whatever it is. So basically, I screwed myself over training Zazu. There you go. Ah, okay. You need a you need a healer and the healer cannot be sick. Right. Okay. So basically, the sick guy can't heal himself. All right. At least we learned something there. Okay. 
Papa. I need to start generating hope. Hope is looking bad here. Hope is looking bad. What else can I do here? Hope is looking bad. I need to get this guy off, right? Oh, let me take this guy off. That's fine. Let's generate some hope. Oh boy. So we need to get rid of the ailment. To beat the... Oh no, we got one day left. That's not going to work out, right? We have an 89% chance of obtaining a good event. Looking bad, guys. Looking bad. Here we go. So I wasted one turn with a free worker for no reason. Well, that's fine. We learned something new. Uh-oh. Here you go. This is the dice roll. Test your fate. All right. Praise the R and Jesus. We're not landing on that 6%. Here we go. Oh, no. All right. We made it. We made it. We survived the fear event. Nice. What is this event? I guess we're getting free tools, huh? Nice. The village gains six basic tools. We got lucky. Nice. All right. Very, very nice. Doop, 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 doop. Is he still asleep? Is sleeping. Sleeping, right? Pretty sure we don't need this. Let's take this off. Let's put let's put some people on here. I need to generate more food. Put that guy on there. That guy on there. I got two available people, right? Hmm. Two available people. What do I want to do with that? I think we want to upgrade this one, right? That was the pawn. Perfect. Now we got one more person left. Generate some food here. Net positive, right? Zazu, may I ask... Or at Ron Empire, may I ask... What is my role in the colony right now? Let me find out. You are a healer, but I just placed you on the gathering duty. Right. Dario is making babies with tea. Turtle is a... Greedy Turtle is a handyman. He is working on gathering food. I believe. And then Zazu, you are gathering berries. What's upgrade mean? Upgrade. Action. This pimp is performing. Upgrade. I don't know what upgrade means. All right. Pico is working. Action of the pimp is working. What does upgrade mean? It says you're upgrading. On the berries. I don't know. I don't know what what that's about. All right, making babies, working on the berries. Wait, you're upgrading. Zazu says it says Zazu's upgrading. Let's see here. What is Zazu now doing? It says upgrading. He's now upgrading cooked meat. I 
know why it says upgrading. What, what is upgrading? I mean, he's wandering around doing nothing. Huh, interesting. Uh, is that, I don't know if this is a bug or not. Hey, Puma Dine, welcome back. This is a cute game. Yeah, it's an absolutely fun, fun uh, city survival game, by the way. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this. Yeah, so this game is called Dot Age, and it is coming out in four days. And the developer is actually in the channel, so if you guys have any questions about the game, you can uh, ask him right now. And I'm playing the full version of the game. This is the version that's going to be released in four days. If you guys want to check out this game, it is available on Steam right now as a demo. Alright, the workbench is done. Cool. And I will link to you the uh, Steam page so you can check it out. Alright, so look at that guy's upgrading. Takes two more days. I'm getting a net positive on wood. I'm getting net positive on food. Uh, this domain is sleeping, right? This is sleeping. And then this right now is heat. What's the next domain coming up? This is heat, right? The heat domain's coming up, and this is a, another sickness domain. And these are, okay, these are events, mini events on the side. Okay, okay. Alright, considering that we're going to get sickness coming up, I do want to generate some of this. To get us more sickness. Uh, or, or health, right? Health protection. We've got an extra guy available. So what I want to do is generate, you know what, I'll, I'll just generate more food for now. Or hang on, you know what, I want to deconstruct this, let's deconstruct this. Because I want to put a signpost there and expand this so I can get this and maybe this and this, but we'll see. Aquan Pip is on vacation to recover from starvation. Wasn't wasn't uh, heat next? Yeah, heat is next. That is correct. Heat is coming up next. All right, so we'll pass. Oh wait, no, no. Before I pass, I need to choose something because the workbench is done, right? What do I want now to research? Do I want to increase my village capacity? Oh, it requires stones, right? I can't do that. What does this one do? Paper. What's paper do? I don't know what paper does. I don't even know what this does. Nature, right? I think we might need nature at some point, I think. That generates nature. Let's close this. Let me see what's coming up next, though. It's just a heat, right? Or fear. We got fear domain coming up. We have heat, sorry, heat's coming up, sickness, and fear. So that means I need to also generate more protection against fear. But that requires two people. It'll be a while, but we'll have to, okay, so we need to do some planning here. We definitely want some of this, and then we want some of this. We want some of this, right? Um... What's this do? I don't know what this is. This generates more of this. This idea is hidden behind other ideas. What other ideas is it? Oh, I need to... Okay, I need to research that. Six turns. Um, this, this is an upgrade, right? 
This upgrades the other, this building over here. Okay. Now this gets me stones. I might need stones. I don't know. I might need stones. Or my other thing is I get the butcher and make use of this. What's eggs do? I guess eggs is just for food. But that's like conversion. I don't think this is worth it because you're you're losing you're losing seeds just to get this going, right? Hunting critters. Hunter's Lodge. Okay, that actually upgrades this. One for three? One for three. Well, what's the difference between that one and that one? But it, oh, it requires stones to upgrade. Oh, this takes three days to hunt. This takes one day to hunt. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. This gets us food, right? What is that? I think that's a book, right? That's a book. Um, birding. What's the f feathers? I guess feathers is for something else later. I don't know what that is not going to do for us. We've already researched this. That's locked. I'm thinking here. All right, let's let's go ahead and get the the stones. Let's go ahead and get the stones. Hopefully, I've made the right decision on that. All right, should be fine, right? Everyone's fine. All right, let's pass. All right, so now we've got something to fight the heat. Upgraded that. Po uh, puddle to a pond? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on with this kid? Oh, he's giving us knowledge. Oh! The village gains six knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. That little baby gave us knowledge. Nice. Who's that kid that gave us knowledge? Who's the kid that gave us knowledge? Argo. Argo. Everyone? Everyone! No, he just found an excuse to, to take some good times. Alright, so this one is upgrade. Oh, but we need a profession. Let's train somebody here. All right, so I want a sign right here, right? Oh, it won't expand to the other side. Interesting. It won't, okay, at least I'll get water tile, but that doesn't, doesn't have any fish. That's fine, let's go ahead and expand it anyways. There, let's go with that. We're okay, we're net positive on the wood. We're net positive on the hemp. We're net positive on the food. And then the heat domain is coming in two days. Greedy Turtle has completed Watcher Training. Nice, nice, nice. Greedy Turtle, you are now a Watcher in this puddle. Or pond, right? Pond. Uh-oh. What's going on? I see. I see an unknown event coming. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. Yes. Hope so. I hope so. Stone Gatherer. Nice. Now we've got a Stone Gatherer. Ooh, we unlocked some more stuff. Ooh, what? Ooh. Oh. Copper Mine. Nice. 
Miner, Copper Ore, Cataclysm, Stone Mason's Hut, Stone Mason, Workshop, Woodcutter's Hut, Lumberjack, Stone Pavement, Ooh, Woodcutter's Hut, what does this do? What is this, 3 times 2x, what does that mean? What does that mean? 3 times 2x, that's 4. Does that mean 6? 3 plus 2x. What's 3 plus 2x mean? Plus 2 for each wood. Oh! Okay. Plus 2 for each wood in the area. Interesting. Oh! Okay, it's technically 6. Right, 6. Right, right. So basically, you get 3... Up to 2x. Got it. Got it. Up to 2x. If I have two... So I have two wood tiles in the area, basically. It's basically that, plus an extra two. Okay, that's 30 units, though. That's a lot. That's a lot. Cobblestone terrain. I don't know what that does. Wow, this game's got a lot of things going on, huh? Pretty pretty deep technology tree here. Clearing path flooded. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh. Performer's stall. What does this do? Generates four hope. Oh, but it doesn't consume anything. Very nice. I'm gonna have to go with this one, guys. It doesn't consume anything. It generates hope without consumption. Plus two is social building within one. Intensifies hope production. Yes. Let's go with that. It only requires one person, too. Okay, I'm I'm on board with that one. Okay. We're generating four, right? Okay, we got an extra worker. We're subtracting two a day. That's fine. Plus two hemp a day. Yeah, yeah. All right. And how many more days does this guy have? Two more days, right? All right, what did I just get recently? What is this? Workbench, right? What's this one? Ah, right, stones. Where can I stick this? Hmm. Let's go with that one, right? Yeah, let's go with that one. All right, that's fair. I think we're doing fine overall, right? What, can I do anything to this? Removes foundation trains. Can I remove this? No, right? Okay, hang on. Clearing. Can I clear this? No, I can't clear this. So I can't get to the other side, huh? There's no clearing that, huh? Yeah, I thought I can clear this, but I can't. Yeah, all right. What can I do about this one? Forest. All right, so I can't get to the other side on this. All right, that was a bust. Six more people, right? I'm losing wood. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep moving on.
Yeah, we're at 100%, so we should be fine. We're gonna have to generate hope later, though. Oh, oh, so, oh, something's happening. Oh no. Oh, it resets all the stuff that we... we stockpiled. What is this ball here? Autumn, the cold domain is enabled. Seasonal threat is set to plus one per year. Oh. Sickness. New resource discovered. Cold domain. The leaves are falling. The, the light is warm. Autumn has come. This is the season when heat domain turns into cold. Oh. So you should switch your production to heat. This is your last chance to gather food as next winter most crops will not produce and animals will not reproduce as usual. Make sure you have enough food to last all winter. Oh, winter is coming. The cold domain replaces the heat domain during the cold season. Cold is insidious as it slows down your pips and building buildings and is very problematic for your food reserves. You should make sure that your pips are well taken care of by sending workers to build to buildings that generate some heat. Oh. The game just got more and more shit pop up. <laughs> you yeah. know? So we... Oh, so they took away all my cold that I was generating. I need to take that guy off. And start generating heat. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Consume by water events uh, heals uh, one wet pips with wood, attracts fire. There's no benefit. Okay. Where can I place this then? Heals one wet pit with pips with wood. Consumed by water events. Attracts fire events. Why do I get the feeling I need to put that away from stuff that's gonna burn? I don't know. All right, let's go with that one, right? Yeah. Let's go with that one. Okay. What else can I? I need to stock up on food, right? I need to stock up on food. Oh shit! All of the berries got wiped out. Can I plant? Can I plant? Oh man, we are in big doo-doo. We are in big doo-doo. I don't know, does tomatoes grow during the um, seasonal? Okay, plus two. Okay, so I should be able to to get this during the autumn. What about this one? What about berries? Building is off season. Oh, spring. Okay, so yes, my tomatoes ran out. Okay, okay. Potatoes grow in winter. All right, well, let's see here. I need to get. What do I need to get now? I think I need a. How many months do I have till winter comes? This is the autumn, right? Next year is winter. Next year's winter. We have some time. We just gotta figure out stuff here. Alright, so I need a just you know what? Hang on. Why don't I grow? I do have a workbench. I don't know what this is gonna do for me. Carrots, cabbage, spinach, onions as well. Right, well, we'll have to do that research in a bit. But for now...
for now, let's start growing more tomatoes. Yeah, let's grow more tomatoes. Wait, tomatoes needs water well nearby, right? Yeah, okay, let's grow more tomatoes. Yeah, let's grow more tomatoes. I think everyone's fine, right? Oh, I got a new memory. Happiness. Healthy. Let's go with healthy, right? Because there's five healthy events. Unlocked. We should be fine, right? Theoretically. <laughs> Theoretically. Oh my god, I need wood to get heat. Ugh. Yeah, okay. We need wood to get heat. We would need three more heat to get 100%. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. This is bad, guys. Okay. Got three guys left. That means I need to generate more wood. Right, I need to generate more wood. And I need more one of these heat thingies. Hang on, maybe, maybe it might be a good idea to switch to this. Um, like in here, what what is this? That's the tools, right? I think we're gonna need to get more wood. All right, let's let's create a clearing. Create a clearing. Hmm. All right, let's do that. Create a clearing. And then what else? We are losing food rapidly. Is there a way to hunt? Oh, we didn't upgrade the hunter thingy, right? I think we need to get... We need to get another hunter thingy soon. Shoot. Well... We need more meat, right? Hang on. We need more meat. We need another barbecue building, right? Or a butcher. Well, we can't make a butcher yet. We haven't researched that. Like in here, how am I gonna do this? Um, all right, let's say hypothetically if I add another cooking station here, can't, right? Why? I'm missing meat? Why can't I put it there? Oh, it needs a dwelling nearby too, doesn't it? Within two tiles. So 
But if I do that, I lose the... Do I lose the... Wait, do I lose that or no? If I place it on that, will I lose the terrain? I don't know if I lose the terrain. I think I do, right? I'm pretty sure I lose the... I'm pretty sure I lose the thing, right? I think I lose the thing. I'm not sure if I lose it or not. I don't know. Uh, Michael, are you still in the in the channel? Do I lose the the Do I lose the wild terrain there or not if I place this here? I'm not sure if I lose that or not. You lose it. Yes, you do lose it. It will warn you. Oh, it'll warn you. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Alright, bad idea then. Bad idea. Huh. No barbecues on top of chickens. Yes, okay. Okay. Well, I could do that. I could do that, and I could put a build a house over here later, right? I might do that. That might be better. Let's do that. And then I'm gonna build another house there. Yeah, I'm gonna build another house there. That should help. All right, that should be fine, right? Everyone's doing whatever they need to do. And then we are losing food per minute, right? We're losing five per minute. Oh, man. Looking bad. Yep, we're gonna we're in the panic stage here because we're losing. We're gonna need food. Not enough wood. Okay. Oh, man. There's not enough wood, huh? Oh, man. Uh, wait, wait. Who, who's... Oh, no, no, no. Shoot. No, what, what can I do here? What's the best thing to do here? Oh, well, yeah. I don't see anything right now. There's a builder there, there's a builder there, right? I'm trying to figure out, is there anything I can do right now? I guess I can just generate water. Right, because we can't do anything else. I'm looking around to see what slots I can place people in. Generate water is probably my only choice. How many more days is this gonna be? Hang on, shift? What is that, three more days? Three more days. Hmm. I don't need water though, that's a thing. I need wood. Let's 
So if I cut this off... No, I should probably just cut this off, right? I'll lose... Nine... 9, 10, 11, no, 8. I'll be down to 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, I'll be down to 8. Alright, that's fine. Acceptable loss. We built the cabin, yes, okay. Oh boy, this is not going to be good. One more, how many more days? Two more days! Oh my goodness. Two more days. Where? Okay, where's that minus one coming from? Oh, bonfire and barbecue. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonfire and the barbecue. Hey, thank you for that follow there, Blunt Rada. No barbecue. Yeah, okay. Let's see here. Um, We're gonna need more food, right? Okay, let's go with that. So not, we're not gaining or we're losing, right? It's the same. Net. And then I have an extra worker. What am I gonna do with this extra worker? All right, never mind. Let's take this off. Let's just make more babies. Wait, what? What does it say? Not enough simple food. What do you mean? Oh. Not enough simple food. What? What? What, what, what kind of simple food do you need? Well, why can't I send somebody here? What was this? Not enough simple food. I have a berry. I, I don't understand why they... I can't use the berry. Or do this. It should work. Right? Send two pips to procreate a child. Uh, a, a child pip will generate. It requires simple food. I have the food. Why is it not... Why is it not letting me? A lot. I don't get it. Why is it not letting me create another item here? You cannot do that without enough food to feed existing pips. But I'm not at a negative value, am I? I'm a plus seven and minus eleven. That's it's only going to drop down to five after this, right? I guess the the thing is not generated until after, right? Huh. Nope, that doesn't do it either. Oh, if that makes a difference. Nope, can't do that either. Yeah, you set to not use raw meat. Okay, will this work? Ah, uh, okay. 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 That means they're gonna eat the raw meat. It's kinda bad that they're eating the raw meat though, right? But we'll see.
kind of don't want them to eat the raw meat, though, but we'll see. Yeah, see, mmm. Alright, well, that's fine, it's fine. We'll see. That should be a hundred. I guess the cooked meat doesn't come until after. So they they ate the raw meat first. You you understand, right? Because I it should have worked because the cooked food should come in after. But I, I guess the way it's calculating right now is taking the raw meat first. And so now I'm less raw meat. And I can't use that for the barbecue in the future. Does that make sense? So you, you understand what I was... Yeah, I see what you're trying to do. Maybe that could change. Right, so hopefully you can fix that. The village gains 24 knowledge. Cool. Eureka! So now I'm one less... ...on the meat. So that barbecue is not going to work. Right. Right, you can't use food in the same turn. Okay. Maybe I should have just waited one turn. I should have just waited one turn. So now we're at minus three after this. Ugh. Okay. Okay. It's gonna take three days to get that, right? That means the next day we're gonna get screwed. I can't tell if that's one day or two days. I think it's two more days till I get food, right? Yeah, it's two more days. I won't get meat for another two days. Oh, we're gonna be screwed. He may be screwed. We'll see. Alright, according to this, I have enough. Yes, according to that, I have enough. How many more days till this kicks in? One more day, right? Okay. Theoretically, I should be able to get by on this. One more day. Um... I think I need to start hunting more chickens. Hmm. I think I need to hunt more chickens. The barbecue's over there. Wait, what's the barbecue's benefit is what? How do I... Your shift click, right? Or hang on, hang on, I can probably tell from this. The barbecue... ...says requires hunting, but it's plus three... ...if dwell um... ...if dwelling... ...building is within two. So that does not stack though, right? If I build a second house here, would that would I get an extra plus three or no? I don't know if I'm gonna get an extra plus three. Would this increase this is the question. Like, if I add another house here, would this guy generate me another plus three? That is the question. I don't know if that's going to generate another... ...another plus three. I don't think it does. I'm guessing it does not. Plus three if dwelling building is within two. Maybe it does. I don't know what that up arrow. There's like an up arrow three, right? 
Well, technically, this... No, there's two buildings here, right? So that doesn't work like that. It does not. It does not. Right? I'm pretty sure it does not. Yeah, okay. It does not. It does not stack. Alright, so that's fine. We should be able to survive one more day anyways. <laughs> oh, let's hope so. Alright, let's, let's figure out something here. Coat maker, artesian, frozen is the ailment. What does this do? Oh, it generates more heat, huh? Oh. Interesting. Okay, it's, that is two for two, four for four. Okay, so I did, I'm not gaining a net positive on this. That is not gonna help me. It basically saves me manpower, that's all it does. Now this one, what icon is that other thingy? Is that leather or fur or a book or something? I can't tell what that icon is. But, that increased heat, right? Heals two frozen pips. I should probably just go back to this. Um, what am I going to do with the extra people here? What am I going to do with that extra person? Blink in here. What can I do with that extra person? That's food, right? That just generates hope. You know what? Let's just generate hope since I've got extra two people. Couldn't hurt to generate hope early. Well, that's fine. Let's just generate hope. Oh, hey, I've got more memory. Unlock this. New mechanics. Weather. I don't know. <laughs> New mechanics. Oh, huh. no. Let's let's go ahead and go go with healthy. Healthy. Nice. Okay, let's go with that. Plus three is going to get me the other thingy soon, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, here we go. I think everyone's good, right? Are you sure? No. Wait, what, what's it say? What, what's it say? What? Some pips require food. But I have three there. I don't know what the... Oh my goodness. What is this? I guess they eat their food first, right? I guess they eat their food first. Oh, I get it. Oh, man. So we can't survive this. There's no way to survive this. Two people are going to be hungry. I wonder what happens when they're hungry. Here we go. This domain's asleep, though, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's find out. All right, so we, I think we beat the heat, right? Yeah, we beat the heat. Should be fine. Wood stick. Nice. We got some stones. Got some stones. 
Nice. Nice. New memory, yes. Tooling, nice. Professional tools. Some professions require special tools. Produce, produce the required tool, and you'll be able to then train a pip using that tool. Make sure you have some tool makers in your village. Start making the tools you need. Okay, yeah, sure. All right, cool, cool, cool. So it's kind of weird, right? They generated the barbecue right after. So no one really technically starved. So that alert was kind of weird. Oh, it's hungry. I mean, according to that, we're generating a net positive. According to that, we're generating net positive. I don't know. I don't know. You cannot use food produced in the same turn for the special actions. You cannot do that without existing food. I see what you're trying to... Yeah, 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 okay. Hut, right? Memory retrieved. Stone well. Nice. Okay. What is this? Think in here. Oh, great barbecue, huh? What does that do? Plus five. Oh, two meats. Oh, it just basically consumes more. Hunter's Lodge. Yeah, let's do that one. Gets the food faster. All right, which one am I worried more about? The cold, right? The awake, it's the sleep. Will generate fear. Will generate three fear per day. Is sleeping if awake. Okay. That sounds bad. Oh my god, that sounds bad. Are we in the? Which one's coming up? Fear, right? Fear is coming up. Oh no, this is today, right? This is today. It will be tied to fear. So fear is coming up. According to this... Oh, because we have an ailment. Hunger. I think it's because of hunger, right? I think hunger is causing this. Oh, it's from hunger. I mean, according to this, we're getting a net positive. So I don't know how people are hungry. Because last turn, it was like a net... It was a net zero. So how, how are all these people hungry all of a sudden? Since I can't generate... Okay, so what you're saying is that you can't... You cannot use food produced in the same turn for the special actions. So that means there should there should be barbecue left over, right? So the way this is this is being calculated, it kind of doesn't make sense, right? So if if five people were hungry last turn because they didn't get to consume the barbecue that was created after they were hungry, then that means this turn, I should be seeing the seven barbecue, right? But somehow I have nothing in my storage. And yet we still have hungry people. So somewhere along the line, the math doesn't work out here. Right? Because the math should have... should Okay, 
So if they were trying to consume something that doesn't exist because the barbecue was created after and they were denied the raw meat, that means then five people should have been hungry and then this turn I should have gotten the seven cooked food. Right? Right now I've got... I've got five people that's hungry. But seven people were hungry, ten from hungry last time. Which I, 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 somewhere along the line, the math is off here. Right? It's, I can't be, I, I shouldn't be penalized twice, is what I'm saying. I shouldn't have lost seven barbecue and have five hungry people at the same time. If I get five hungry people, that means I should have... I should have seven cooked barbecue, right? Hungry generates plus two sickness per people. Okay, all right. The, all right, that's... Okay, so we got two sickness from five people that were hungry. But my point here was I got penalized twice, right? Because last turn, you saw that I should have had a net zero food at the end of everything. You did not see what happened before. Yeah, rewind. Okay, so rewind. Because according to last turn, it showed that I, um, I was going to lose three food, right? But I had three food already in my inventory. It was going to generate... It was something like plus seven. Plus seven from the barbecue. Minus ten from people that needs to eat it. But I had three food in the warehouse. Somehow five people got hungry. I, I don't know where that math came from. Alright, so, so look. According to this... I should be getting 10 food now at the end of the next turn, right? I don't have seven cooked barbecue. Well, now I have seven cooked barbecue, right? And next turn, I'll get two of these. Okay, yeah, yeah. next turn, I'm going to get two raw. Right, right, right. Next turn, I'm going to get two raw they, that they cannot eat. That they cannot eat. I have 11 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it might be right. I think it might be fine. It might be fine. We're just going to have five hungry people next turn. Some tips require food, right? Five people is going to be hungry. Which is fine. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Plus a child. Right, that's twelve. That's twelve. Plus a child. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is fine. This is fine. I think that I, I think that's correct. I think that is correct. I don't have any food, right? Shoot. Oh man. We are in a situation here. Right? Okay, so now we should be fine, right? We should be fine now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should be fine now. We should be fine now. Yeah. It can get a bit complex. Counts but the counts should be fine though. Yeah, yeah. I think like, I think the count is fine. I think the count is fine. It should be fine. All right, we we are now net positive on the same turn. On the same turn. Right, theoretically. Let's do this. All right, we should be fine, I think. Memory retrieved. Alright, so... We are no longer in the cold phase, right? Yeah, we're no longer the cold phase. So the only thing we have to worry about is the fear. That's the only thing we have to worry about now, is fear. So let's take this guy off. Yeah, let's take that guy off. Alright, we're now net positive. Yes, 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 yes. And I could probably put a guy here then, yeah? Okay, cool. 
We're good. I think we're good. Give me a second, I'm gonna sneeze. Alright. Alright, so everything is fine. We should be fine. And we're gonna get that for five turns, and we're gonna get that for five turns. I need to stock up on food, though, right, for the winter, because I think after we defeat this during the autumn, we're going to need food. Let me take this guy off, and then we're going to see if we can generate more, more tomatoes. Yeah, we're going to need more tomatoes. Oh, there's nothing close by over there. Hang on, let's... Let's get rid of this. Hang on, no, no, no. Let's get rid of that. And then I'm gonna put another tomato patch right here. Yeah, let's do that. What we need to do is generate more hope. Um, hang on, we also need to upgrade the hope thingy, right? What's this one? No. Wait, where, it's the service building service, right? This is for free. Plus two... It's social building within one. Oh, I see. That's six, right? Generate six for free. Playing in here. All right, yeah, that's the best spot. Let's do that. That's fine. Four days? Oof. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Alright, so we're gonna get... Hope there. Let's do that. I gotta do something about that thickness thing, though. I gotta figure out how to upgrade that. Currently simmering six gallons of tomatoes now to now you can sauce. <laughs> you can click on what ailments do in the age to pedia age of pedia two, so you can see that four hunger does plus two sickness. Right, right. Alright, so beware, a doom event is coming soon. Prepare for it, for it may be the end of our village. Alright. Oh no, it's plus seven. We're gonna need more hope. Three more days to generate hope. And it's already awake. Oh no. Three guys available, right? Oh, I don't have positive food. Oh no, no positive food. Shoot. This is looking bad, guys. Where am I going to come up with more food? Out of thin air. I know how. Let's generate berries. Is that going to be a net positive? It's not net positive. But we're going to at least generate three, though. What is this? Idol guy, right? Hmm. All right, let's plant some tomatoes. Okay, all right. So three more days on that. 
five days on the planting. Yikes. Well, this is in preparation for the future, right? Because because we can't get food from berries when the autumn season, so we need to constantly make this. I think we're gonna also need to probably get another forager. Yeah, we're gonna need another forager. All right, that's fine. All right, all right. Getting scary. The elder had a vision of fear. What's going on here? Please be positive. Please be positive. Oh, nice, nice. That was positive. We got two health. Very nice. Okay, we're now net zero. Net zero. Net. Net positive now, right? Net positive. I think we're gonna need. Let's see here. We're still generating that one, right? I think we're still going to need... Hope. I just noticed the warehouse couriers will haul all over the entire map. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Against the Storm? They expand the range to be 25, supposedly, so... That, I, so here's the thing about Against the Storm Warehouse. Before, the hauler station actually had, like, a a set of buildings that's within range. So the interface used to show you what the different buildings that it will pull and grab from, right? Or carry to. The current warehouse actually doesn't show you all the buildings that's affected. So it really needs that tab view back into the warehouse. So you can click on that tab so you can see all the affected buildings. Yeah, it did the hauler patch thing, right? So they seem to go really far, which is actually quite nice. Yes, it's nice, but my again, my complaint is it doesn't have a view of all the resources. I'm saying that I think the range is actually map wide. You think it's the entire town or entire map? Well, according to the patch notes, it says it's 25 tiles. So I don't know. All right, anyways, we've got an extra worker now because the kid grew up, right? So what am I gonna do with this new kid? What am I gonna do with a new kid? I'm thinking here. I mean, I could try to build another forager just in case as a backup, right? I mean, plus two is better than nothing. Yeah, let's add another forager camp. Or I could build a sign and grow. And do I need to grow anywhere? I don't think I need to grow anywhere. No, I probably don't. Let's see here. I probably need a forger's camp. I don't need heat. I don't need tools. Yeah, let me go ahead and get another forger's camp. Hunting. Well, or hunting, right? Or no. I mean, I kind of need more meat fast, right?
Yeah, let's go with hunting. I'm okay with hunting. That might be better, because then I'll get meat. Alright, everyone's fine now, right? Let's go ahead and pass. We should be net positive by six. Nice. The hunter thing is up. Uh-oh. Please. Oh, no! Something's bad happening here. Pico loses their profession. What was his profession? I forgot. I forgot what his profession was. What profession did he lose? It would be nice to know what he lost. It says he lost a profession, but I don't know what his profession was. What was Pico, anyways? I think Pico might have been this guy. I don't know. Research complete. Hunter's Lodge, yes. Yeah, a, a, a tip or suggestion here would be... If they lose a profession, it would be nice to know what that profession is. Or was, so I can actually... Replace him. Or train another dude. I don't know what profession he was. Oh, he was the... He was a thinker. Yeah, good ide idea. I never had that feedback before. Yeah. He was the thinker. Yeah, he was a thinker. I, I'm looking at this and I, the thinker is missing a spot. So that's the profession we lost. Which means we can't generate anything on this. Luckily, he finished it right before he, he lost his profession. Oh, this is uses less food. Oh, it is actually better. Sorry, it uses less wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually better. Yeah, that's the feedback page for Against the Storm. I was wondering if you had something similar. Um, this what? This what? Oh yeah, he, um, Michael, he, um, the greedy turtle was talking about a warehouse for Against the Storm. Since I, I regularly stream Against the Storm as my main game, so usually you'll get people in chat talking about the game that I play the most. There was a patch recently for Against the Storm that's related to the haulers, hauler station, and the warehouse. So Greedy Turtle was just talking about the um, Against the Storm stuff. I was responding to an earlier message where I showed him their feedback form. Oh, oh okay, right, right. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure Dot Age has a feedback form, of course. Oh, this button here is for... Let's see here. Let's find out. Bug? Suggestions? Oh, okay. So you have a feedback that's just built into the game. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, so if you want to leave feedback, you can just post it there. Yeah, okay, yeah. Against the Storm has a feedback channel in their Discord. I'm still net positive three, right? Oh, shoot. Is it miss- what's missing? Oh, I'm- I, oh, I'm missing a worker. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Missing a worker. I'm looking around to see what I can do here. Do I have any available workers? My hope is looking bad here, guys. Oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna take this guy off. 
I might generate more barbecue. I think that's fine, right? Alright, yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, I love talking about the game's design and balance. I'll open it up to everyone as the game releases. I do have that too. Feedback channel, right? Yeah. Um, Hauler's any good. Haven't played that much. Just kind of ignored it. Yeah, cuts lap. I just kind of ignored the hauler thing. I'm more annoyed about the warehouse view right now with the hauler merged into the warehouse. Buildings in the village that do not meet the requirements will be abandoned by pips and cannot be used again until the requirements are met. For example, the Thinker's Post does not want any other buildings near it. Okay. This action button allows you to dismantle a building. Most buildings, when dismantled, will give you half the resources you use to build them. Some buildings, such as plants, give you different resources. Refer to the Agepedia for more information. Okay. Now, why did they... Why did they... Why did they mention that I need... To abandon something. Is some building going to get abandoned? I don't know. Not enough meat. It's abandoning something. No knife master. Oh. Okay, that's fine. All right, everything should be fine now, right? We're losing three after this. We have 25. Okay, then that's fine. We should get... Hang on. Can I upgrade the thing? Let's upgrade the thing. There. Okay, that should be fine. Alright, let's go ahead and pass. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, gotta go. Have fun. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Greedy Turtle. Appreciate that. Pico has completed thinker training. Alright, welcome back, Pico. I gotta replant this now, huh? Oh, no seeds. Oh. I gotta get seeds. Oh man, four days, huh? Four days. Four days. Oh my god, this is bad, guys. Very bad. Four days, and we're gonna get that Doom event. I don't know if we're gonna beat it. We've got 60% chance. How long is this guy gonna take? Three days? Oh, boy. I probably should have worked on this sooner. Oh boy, this is looking bad, guys. Four days and three days. Not looking good. Situation is looking grim. Yep, alright. Man, this one, it definitely. I should have I should have generated the hope here earlier. Oh no. I I don't know if we're gonna make this. We might lose. We might lose. Oh I gotta train a dude for this. Oh We got one extra guy, right? One extra guy. 
looking bad. Water's being reduced. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll just go ahead and put the guy on this. Yeah, let's just do that. That's fine. I can't think of anything else, right? Well, actually, no. Let's uh, let's do another forger. Right, yeah, a forger thing in here. How's that? Let's pass our turn. Here we go. We might actually lose the next Doom event. Well, I did not, I did not generate enough hope here earlier. I should have started generating this. I didn't realize that required a professional. So that was my mistake there. All right, we got two days to turn this around. Yeah, we got two days to turn this around, guys. Thinking here. Is there anything else I can do right now? All right, I'm gonna take this guy off. Let's see here. No, nine, right? Do I need seeds that bad right now? I do actually. Let me take this guy off. Here we go. Go with this. For now, I think that should be fine, right? Okay. We're turning it around. Looking bad though. 24 to 76. 32 more hopes to get 100%? Yeah, we're not getting 100%. Whoa, please be positive. Please be positive. Oh, we got... We got like special food. What is that? The village gains one stew. What is one stew? What is that? Is that like super food? We witnessed homemade stew. What does homemade stew do? What does stew do? What does stew? this food for stew it's not sorted alphabetically yeah it's not sorted alphabetically I don't see stew on this list oh there it is it's not sorted alphabetically what does this do consumed by cabin hut and by bivo Bivu back. All right, that's fine. Uvovak. I don't know. Should I disable that? You'll find out later what the elaborate food is for. Okay, well let's just take that off because I don't want them consuming it for now. Sounds like I might need it, and it's valuable. Wait a minute. Why is it not? Oh. Oh, I've been generating the wrong item. What is this? Yeah, I was generating the wrong item. Okay. Well, we're we're at least now 
above the curve, right? Slightly, 69% next turn. All right. 19 to four and we're gaining five, right? Okay, that's fine. Okay. My, okay, hang on. We should be gaining one food a day, right? Oh, okay, hang on. Let's take this guy off then. That's gonna be much better. Yeah, all right, so 24 minus 15. All right, that's nine. Okay, so that should be good. All right, here we go. No one's sick, right? I think, I think the event is kicking in right now, right? Or we got one more day. Okay, we got one more day, I think. No. This is it. This is it. Oh, boy. We have a 69% chance of success. Pray to the orange Jesus, guys. Oh, 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 no. Yes. We made it. We survived. Nice. Wait, I remember that Doom event was averted. The village was different. So what do I want now? Stronghold. All buildings have one more hit point. Eh. Meh. Hidden compartments. Total resource cap increased by 50. Okay, that might be fine. The, the village gains 50 berries, but... I think some of that's going to be wasted, right? We're already near the cap. Oh, wait. We don't have any berries. We actually don't have any berries. Or we have one berry. So I think if I get that, it might be better because we're going into winter season soon. Total resource cap increased by 50. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Well, we haven't been able to hit the 50 other than food, right? But then they're also consuming it. I don't know. I'm thinking the 50, the berries. I wish I can... Can I look back at my current situation? Is there a way to look back? Like, I... It would be nice if I can see my view. Like, what my current storage capacity is, right? Because if I take the 50 berries, but I don't know how many berries is currently in my storage, this doesn't really help me right now to be able to just select that. I mean, I'm definitely going to get a lot, but I'm thinking that might be better. Right, there. I, yeah, I wish there was a way to view my my current storage capacity before making this selection. Right. To have an informed decision. Yes, makes sense. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't want to take that. If I'm, like, near the cap limit already, and that's just like, oh, I'm only getting, like, three or something like that, when it would just make sense to go here, right? It could be arranged. Yes, thank you for that. So I'm a little worried about that. But so far, we've been only collecting... Two berries from the trees. I think this is probably better. I'm going to take this one. Increased storage capacity is always good. Now, as I'm a bit full of stuff to do release, but I'll write it down a note. Yes, thank you for that. Yeah, I'm sure you're, you've got a lot of things before release. Total resource cap increased by 50. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. feel like that might have been a mistake since we're going into the winter phase. Well done, Pips. That last doom was a breeze to avoid. Okay. It was not a breeze, but okay. 
Well, it could have been worse. I could have died. It says Pico. We should name Pico Petro. He's, this guy's like negative Nancy here. I think we are due for... Wait, wait, what? There's something wrong, Elder. <laughs> Shepin. Shepin spoke... Ah, the apocalypse again? Another one? Uh-oh. Can we go back home now, Elder? You clueless blockheads. I just saw the apocalypse. Uh-oh, another one. So we're gonna go into the winter phase. I saw it all. I know when the apocalypse is coming. Oh, oh, we got more tabs. It is waiting for us after all these doom events. Oh. All right, so the apocalypse is here. We've got one, two, three, four more to go. We're currently in the scroll three, right? So we got third doom event. One, two, three, four, five, then apocalypse. It is waiting for us after all these doom events. So we got five doom events before the apocalypse. Okay, okay. You can't be serious, Elder. You better prepare for the next doom, you fool. Okay. Doom events versus apocalypse. I see. I see an unknown event coming upon us. The vision is confusing. But there is hope. We can fight it. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, we're at 100%. This is not a sleeping, right? Six days. Six days. This is in five days. This is heat, right? We're in the heat domain still. Let's take a look. This is fear. Sickness. This is the seasonal heat. That's now that'll, that'll be a while, right? According to this, it'll be a while. It says there's six days though. Oh, the scroll down. I gotta scroll down. Okay, yeah, it is. It is coming in six, five days. Yes. Okay, and this is the fear, as well. This is six, and this is five, right? Yep. All right, so we gotta. Do some more cold fighting. Yep, cold fighting. Or sorry, heat fighting. And we got we got a lot of fear going. They released an ATS update, but no warehouse fix. What? What? Let me check this. Hot fix with no warehouse changes? Come on, what's going on? Hang on, the devs actually messaged me. We just released a small batch of fixes to resolve the issues occurred after yesterday's update. We're super grateful for your reports and feedback. Happy Saturday. But no fixes to the warehouse view? Come on. Luke, come on devs. What's going on? Let me see here. I'm reading, sorry, hang on. I'm reading the change logs for the Against the Storm. Fix a game, breaking bug. Fix hauler slots. Yeah, fix... Holler related perks, fix issues with villagers carrying too much corrected Italian translation, add missing description of the fire links, yeah, corrected typo of the Polish description, fix an issue of old version of the value added taxes, severity, label being sent off centered, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing to the warehouse. Hang on, let me read the message from, from the dev. We'll keep monitoring the feedback as always. Oh, come on. No. No. Ugh. All right, they're not fixing that warehouse thing. Ugh. Hang on, I'm messaging him. Ugh, I'm really bummed, actually. Very disappointed in that. Yeah, ugh, that's basically we're sticking to our guns until the community shits on us again. Yeah, uh, that's he, he basically says we're continuing to monitor the feedback. I don't know, maybe I need to start using my influencer community 
thing and start campaigning and telling everyone to go to the Against the Storm page and say, look, this warehouse view needs to be fixed ASAP. I'm really bummed by that. Alright, so now we gotta deal with food, right? Alright, so that means we had 10 tomatoes. Had we gotten that 50 tomatoes and the cap was... Oh, it had it increased... 50 increase. I thought it went from 30 to 50. 40 to 90 is even better. Oh, that's nice. Sweet deal. That's a sweet, sweet cap limit. Making games is hard. I'm sure they're doing their best. Yeah, they are. You know, I mean, the, look, the Against the Storm devs are amazing. I definitely, definitely do not have anything bad to say about the developers. They, they definitely do a great job. Um, doing their bi-weekly updates and listening to the community feedbacks. I mean, they took away the the blueprint from the blueprint pool, and that was a major feedback that people gave. But we had to wait two weeks for them to remove it. Now, the warehouse view thing, I mean, that is definitely, that needs to be taken care of ASAP. I mean, I could, I you know, waiting for the blueprint removal, two weeks, not a big deal. It just added more of a challenge but the warehouse thing, that is just super annoying. All right, I am really digging this 90 plus or the 90 cap limit. Yeah, that definitely was was a really good take there. And then now we have some seeds, right? Let's go ahead and plant some people. Oh, I need to get need to need to get free up some workers. Let's free workers off of this. Yeah, that's fine. We're near 100 anyways. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that, right? Nah, I'm okay with that. That's fine. I need to get somebody planting seeds here. Can I get that another plant? Okay, perfect. 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 All right, let's go ahead and pass, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and pass. I think everything's fine, right? I mean, the only thing I could think of is... Hang on, hang on. Okay, let's upgrade... Let's upgrade this. Hang on. Oh, wait. I think it requires a lot to upgrade that. We might need a... No? Six and two. Yeah, no, no, no. It's fine. We can upgrade this. All right, that's fine. We're upgrading that, and we're going to need a woodcutter later on the next pass. Hey, thank you for that follow there, many E's. Appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and pass. Boom, 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 boom. Technically, we didn't really need that because... Because the other guy is generating three a day. We might not. We probably didn't need that. <laughs> I think I wasted that. We probably didn't need that. Yeah, I don't think we needed that. All right, so we have two free workers, right? One guy is generating seeds. I think we need to get more more people so we can actually get more workers. Let's go ahead and do this. Yes, let's do that. So we're going to get another baby. Oh, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. We do need... We do need... Let me take this guy off. We do need fire. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, 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 shoot. We do need fire. thing in here. Let me take this guy off. There. I forgot the fire domain. There you go. We should be fine now, right? Alright, let's do that. I'm gonna need another woodcutter later. Grab 
growing. All right, so we just popped two kid. Or one kid, right? We, we popped a kid. So two free workers. We're going to put a guy on fire duty. Or sorry, uh, wood cutting duty. Wood cutting duty. And then another guy. What else? Where else? Where else can I assign somebody? Hang on. Are we net positive? We are net positive by three. Alright, let's go ahead and... Do we need more... Hang on. Let's go with that. That's a hunter. Wait, what? There we go. One hunter. We got an extra worker. Alright, let's generate some seeds with that one extra worker. And we're now at 100% on this one, right? We're beating these two Doom. So these are taken care of. What is this? Oh, I need to generate... Oh, I need to figure out how to generate forest, right? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna finish this off. This is like what? Three days, right? In three days. But I don't know if I want to spend that point towards towards the forest or the nature, right? I think it was the nature. Is that nature? Which one's nature? There was something that was nature. I can't remember which one. Oh, this one, right? This is nature. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take this first. <laughs> I have a lot of points stocked up. Let's go ahead and do that. Two days for nature, right? Two days for nature. Because we have nature coming up soon. Right? Nature is going to be... Coming up eventually. I'm, I'm worried about nature, so let's take care of that one first. Okay, very happy, blah, 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 blah. Okay, alright, that's fine, that's fine. The village gains one ore. Okay. What page am I on? I think I'm on page three, right? I think I'm on page three. Alright, so I will not... Let's see here, can I... I can't click on that one, right? Okay, I can't see that one. Okay, yeah, alright. So I can't see that one yet. I'm currently on three. And devs don't want me to show four. So I guess I will... I will end the stream at some point here, and then we'll do the, our giveaway. We'll do our giveaway as I get closer towards the, uh, the four. All right, yeah, so I'll, I'll try to end the stream roughly around this section here, maybe, or this, or after I complete. Yeah, you know what, I'll, after these two events, I'll, I'll probably end the stream, and then we'll, I'll do the giveaway. So in about three days, I'll switch over and do our giveaway for you guys. So that's fair. Yeah, devs don't want me to show off the page four spoilers until the, the game gets released. So that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. Alright, sounds good. Let me go ahead and spend my memory here. Uh, weather events are temporary. Only one weather event uh, can be active at any given time. And it can be seen alongside other events. Weather events can tempor temporarily change the current threat of a domain. 
Since the change is not permanent, the threat appears differently. Okay. Mini events unlocked. Weather events unlocked. New mechanics. The next one requires eight points. I only have four. Okay, that's fine. All right, so what do we got here? We got 48 food. Net positive. We're net positive on that one. We're net positive on that one. And we are at 100% on both of them, so we should be good. Go ahead and pass. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got the ore, right? It does nothing for me right now. So one more day, and I get... I get the nature building. Research completed? Okay, ultimate. Sure. So let's switch back to the barbecue. Ooh, ooh. Large altar, right, right. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, let's continue that one. And that's not three days, right? Three days from now. So I won't finish that before these two. But that's fine. We have an extra worker. What am I going to do with this extra worker? What do I want to do with the extra worker? Alright, let's go ahead and plant this with the extra worker. Yep, alright, that's fine. Passing. Passing turn. Alright, here we go! The heat event. Very happy you're enjoying the game so much. It does have that one more turn feeling. Yes, it does! I am addicted to it. Definitely want to play this more, but I'll have to wait until the release. Uh, Michael, did you get my message about how the game keeps resetting my... my Windows settings? At the start of the game? Because every time I, I load up the game... It just maximizes my screen. I have to go back. Yeah, I wonder why. It does save settings. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why. It just keeps doing that. This is like, I've I've loaded the game like four times already, and every time I go in, I have to like fiddle with the um, the w window settings so I can set up my stream right. So I just don't want to have to like load up the game and do that every time because especially when I'm transitioning between you know games when I'm streaming. All right, so the cold season is harsh. Burning some of our food might take, might make us warmer. Should we do that? The village gains four hope. Village loses two simple food. The village gains four heat. We don't need that anymore, do we? Take a look at this. Oh, I can't click on it. Yeah, it would be nice to know if it's coming up anytime soon, because I don't want to take this, like in the case of of the uh, cold. I generated cold, and then the season changed, and I lost all my coal. Like my cold uh, resources, right? So if I take the four heat, but the heat never comes back, I don't want to lose the four heat. And I lose two food. So that's why I would like, so on the screen, similar to the last screen, you know, you're presented with choices, but you can't interact with what, what's currently in the game or, you know, or your current situation, right? So I would like to know what's coming up, if taking this is going to be a waste or not. That's, that's what I'm, my feedback here is I'd like to be able to click on the prophecy to see what's next before making a decision on which one I should be taking. But I'm going to go ahead and take this one cuz I this I might I might end up wasting this cuz it might get deleted. Um so I don't know. But wait a minute. I haven't I haven't gone through the Well, that's not true. I haven't gone through the winter phase yet, right? So that means the heat is going to still be valid. You know what? I'll take the left. I'm pretty sure since winter hasn't come yet. 
Yeah, winter hasn't come yet. So I'm, I'm guessing this domain here is going to last through winter. Yeah, so that should be fine. Yeah, 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 that should be fine. All right. And then we got two more days left till the next one. Oh, hey, this guy got something here. Some event just occurred. Oh, yeah, 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 that's the, that's the heat event. Right, right, right. That's fine, food energy. All right, no, that's cool. All right, we're still good. We're net positive on, on wood, net positive on food, increasing seeds. That's good. And everyone's fine now, right? All right, let's go ahead and pass the turn. Here we go. The hope event, right? The fear event, sorry, the fear event. One damage inflicted to a building, oh no. Just one damage, no big deal. Threat increases permanently by one. Hank gained the criminal quirk. Oh, what is qu criminal quirk? Quirk do vandalism crime consequences is nothing so we don't know yet criminal Hank is a criminal I wonder what Hank is going to do oh he, it's just basically an increase in threat I think I think that's all it is yeah Hank just basically increases threat Or criminal. Let's, let's look at that just in case. I want to know what that is. Criminal. Is it in here? No. Not in here. Not in the ailment. Event? Vandalism. Um. One random building is destroyed. Del okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or criminal. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So it, it went away. Nothing else happened. All right. That's fine. Okay, well, let me um, end the stream, or sorry, end the um, the VOD here for this game. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Uh, this is not the end of stream, because I'm going to be switching over and doing the, um, the monthly giveaway here. So for everyone else, uh, hang tight. Uh, very fun. Yes, and let me um, give a shout out to our dev here, Michael. Uh, and this is the link. And I'm also going to provide the link on my YouTube VOD. So you guys can check out Dotage. Dot age. It's dot age. I've actually seen streamers and other content creators saying Dotage. But it is called dot age. And you actually hear that at the beginning of the game when the game loads. The, um, the elder says dot age. So, all right. So don't forget to check the, the details in the VOD for the link to the, uh, Steam store page. And don't forget to wish list that if you enjoyed today's, uh, run. And if I hit on, if I hit quit, it should save my, my current save point, right, Michael? I don't want to hit quit and, and everything gets wiped and I have to redo the run. It should save it. Okay, all right. So I'm going to go quit back to the... It says quit to the desktop. All right, so I, that will be the end of that. Okay, that's fine. Or, or Hang on, title. Return to the title screen. I'm going to return to the title screen. Are you sure you want to return to the title screen? Your story will be saved. Yes. All right, so we're back to the title screen. All right, guys. Thank you for watching Dot Age. And uh, we're going to do our monthly giveaway. So last call... Or uh, redeeming in your golden ticket. And uh, thank you so much, by the way, to Michael for hanging out uh, today's stream and answering questions. He's the uh, developer for Dot Age. And this game is uh, being released 
in four days. And thank you also for giving me the full released version of the game to stream uh, before the uh, the release. All right, so we're good. So be right back, and I'm going to switch out to the um, to the wheel spin. <laughs> 